So I, wow. I like I like does what he's doing right now. Yeah, 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 because he is showing them clips. I thought he's gonna just show them and start slitting him, yeah. but he's showing what his response is. Okay, okay, looking good. Does XQC, Aiden Ross, the gamers? They're not investigators. Mm. So why are people reaching out to gamers yeah. to investigate something that Tate has done in their past? Mm. Like everyone on social media is treating this as if it's a live court case. Yeah. And Daz is the judge and he's just sentenced Andrew Tate to death. I know, yeah. <laughs> Off you go. No. no, it's not. There's no, if, like we said, there's a lot of allegations. We'll mm -hmm. talk about it. But if he was that bad, he would have been in jail right now. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex boyfriend, Andrew Tate. It matters, but the truth is, matters. Cornwall now matters. Boy, Andrew Come on, Tate, mate. He Come needs on. a Bugatti tractor. Your job will fire you out of women. Not Come on, Dance. What are you playing at, mate? He's got an important point to yeah, say. Yeah. Why are you're you... taking a piss out of the way he is acting it? Uh, yeah. What, what are you doing that for, mate? Come on. Oh, he's uh, talking about a gym. Listen, we're not here to slate you, Daz. All right. If you want, we'll flipping slaughter you right now. <laughs> we will slaughter you. But I don't want to do that. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah. We've got some class. I can't be bothered. I can't <sighs> be bothered watching this. Anger. Sometimes, have you seen like these lectures? You, it's passion. It's anger to say, yeah. wake up. We're back. The Bearded Mogul Brothers. The world has gone crazy. Yes, it has. Social media has gone crazy. Over one person, Mr. Andrew Tate. Mm. Broke the internet when he first came on. Broke yeah. the internet now once he's been banned. What is going on? And one person has taken credit for it. And they call him Daz the Dazzler. <laughs> the new... Um, Combatant yes. has arisen to uh, battle Mr. Tate. Right. Never have I ever have I seen these people before. No. I, I'm no, no, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> Disclaimer: do We don't know him. Seven point seven million. Yeah, well followers. done. Well done. Tim. Well done. Uh, I believe he's a gamer. Yeah, just like Aiden Ross when he first came on uh, with the uh, Andrew Tate. Mm. Never knew him. Yeah, an XQC. Then XQC. Yeah, never knew him. Yeah. Now does the Dazzler has done some damage and kicked well, supposedly. That's what he's uh, did claiming. He? Did he? Well, did he? Was it his working after yes. that video dropped? Mm -hmm. He got Andrew Tate banned from social media. We said this uh, probably a week ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Where has Andrew Tate gone? Yeah, yeah. He's very quiet. That's yeah. why we've not put any Andrew Tate videos up. As you, as you can see from uh, our previous uh, contents that we've released, our latest contents is all about uh, Matt Walsh and uh, some Arbrost video mm. we posted. We was waiting for Andrew Tate. Mm. He's like, where has he gone? He's not been uh, on the scene. He's not done any uh, live videos with Aidan Ross or anyone like that. We thought something's happened. But I, I I think the ban was coming. Yeah, yeah, the ban yeah. was definitely coming. Yes. It was just a matter of time. I think a, we discussed this yes. before me privately, that it was just a matter of time. We were surprised he actually stayed that long mm. until they started taking action. Yeah. But again, in our previous video, we, we discussed about the ban. So yeah. I don't want to go too much into yeah. that. You can watch that video. It's on our channel. So please do uh, go and watch that video. Uh, but before we do continue, uh, please do like, subscribe and share. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We've hit that 2K mm -hmm. uh, as we discussed uh, in our previous video as well. We've hit that 2K. Thank you very much. The community is growing. The bearded moguls are growing uh, and we are going to grow to fight this uh, agenda that is uh, spreading. Now... Mr. Daz, mm. a lot of people have said good things about Daz, so... Look, we're going to try to be yeah. Um, neutral. Yeah. Okay. So, I've not watched it. We have not watched this video. Yeah. So, first time uh, reacting to this video. Um, however, what I would say on the, uh, you know, basically from the go, uh, go get yeah. is he's obviously going to have clipped certain uh, clips. Mm -hmm. Out of context, 
So yep. that's that's my mindset at the moment. Okay. Because there's a lot of stuff Andrew Tate says, and you can just clip shit out of context, and then say yeah, bad bad things about it. But it would be interesting to know because he's got a large following. A lot of people are praising this video, and yep. we'll take it from there. Yeah. So shall we get into it? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go for it. So yeah, that is you saying that women right. are y your property. Have you ever seen a woman try and do anything competently? If you are listening, Andrew T, you are weird. I'm gonna find you and peg you, Andrew T. You are weird. Hey, What's that? Speaking, he's speaking reality. Why are you gonna get mad? Cause he's telling you to treat me like a king. Come on, brother. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. You go, fuck her. That's how it goes. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. Water, please. He's trying to show the contradiction. Do, bro? Right. Keep her in line, bro. You're doing good. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most mm. precious things on the planet. When I grab you by your neck and you start annoying me, trying to resist, and I just... Oh. And then I grab you by your neck again. Then what the fuck are you gonna do when your face is collapsed? The videos look so bad, don't I know. They? Yeah, once. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's all out of context. From women coming forward, okay. So show me. Huh? One sec, let me read it. Yeah. Should we go back? Go back one second. I Trust didn't read it all. So they told, uh, told me. Uh, horrors and personal experience from threatening behavior upward and in including sexual assault. Unfortunately, I cannot show this evidence as they ask for evidence uh, to be real as they are. Pfft, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you got evidence, but you're not allowed to show the evidence. Okay, fair enough. Carry on. How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Quite possibly the most unique Daz watches um, I think I've ever filmed or done research into. I've just got off the phone um, with a woman. Now, depending on the outcome of this video, you would have heard the phone call. But as I'm filming this now, she's going to get back to me to see if she's happy to submit her evidence in this video. If I do not include the phone call that I've just had, it is because she has decided that um, she would like to keep her self private as she is concerned, as many other women are, about her safety when it comes to who we are reacting to today, Andrew Tate. The phone call that I've just had um, is with a young woman who knew Andrew apparently very well. And the women that are coming forward to me, who are reaching out to me and telling me their stories, they involve situations of abuse, violence, sexual violence, assault, and unfortunately... Could it not be the case that these women, uh, maybe they were jealous? Could be. Because you're not providing any evidence. You're saying that there's evidence, but you can't provide it, or they don't want you to provide it. So we're just going to go off what you're saying. Let's see you know, uh, throughout the uh, video okay. and if the evidence comes. But just before we do continue... Daz, XQC, Aiden Ross, the gamers, they're not investigators. Mm. So why are people reaching out to gamers yeah. to investigate something that Tate has done in their past? Mm. You know, I just don't understand. Maybe uh, I, I know that um, uh, Daz was a victim in the past. Okay, victim of? Uh, abuse, I believe. I have no idea. Uh, if you guys can clarify that, I've, I read it somewhere. And... Um, but that doesn't make you an investigator. You're 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 a gamer, so you just taking clips doesn't do this video any justice. Mm. So, just like to say that uh, I'm not taking sides again. But like I said, we're gonna be neutral, but we're just gonna say how it is. Yeah, but also the fact that women they always come out. How come they always come out all at once? All these women start yeah. coming out when the guys at his peak mm. making a lot of money because it's all about the paper now. Yeah. What can we do now to mm. take Andrew Tate's money? So these things have happened before with famous people. And I'm not saying it like people have been convicted, mm -hmm. some have been freed, you know, but you can't just take their word. It's mm -hmm. not evidence at the moment. The it needs to go through a court process. Yes. So we're treating this 
like everyone on social media is treating this as, as if it's a live court case. Yeah. And Daz is the judge and he's just sentenced Andrew Tate to death. I know, yeah. <laughs> Off you go. Oh. No, it's not. There's no, if, like we said, there's a lot of allegations. We'll mm -hmm. talk about it. But if he was that bad, he would have been in jail right now. Yeah. Look, you're making Andrew Tate look like a predator. That uh, proper that, the way it's yeah, done now. The way that that these That's women wrong. need to come to help. That we need to hide our identity. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Tate knows all these women. His safety. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Tate. Even if you came and showed your face and did a live, uh, you know, video yourselves, mm. what do you think Andrew Tate's gonna go and kill you? Yeah, he's not stupid. He's gonna get you assassinated. Not stupid. Why, why would he waste his time to do that? If you want to tell the truth, tell the truth. Mm. But he's expressed all these issues uh, about beating women and everything in his videos previously, mm. in his emergency meeting, his videos, what he's done in his uh, official channels and on and on, in, on his Instagram. And his women have come forward as well. So, what new evidence has he brought forward? We'll have to see. Like yeah, we said, let's, we watch seen. Him. So yeah. let's continue. Everything that you're seeing is not a character. This is exactly um, who Andrew Tate is. I am not the police. Oh, I'm not here <laughs> to pass judgment. It's not my place. Right? It's not the judge. <laughs> so you're not a judge. <laughs> Fair enough. At least you said that. Knowledge Sorry. Of the current situation and multiple women coming forward to me. My advice to them was to go back to the police, speak to them, and my platform will always be a voice for women. Of and men and men, yeah. Of domestic yeah don't abuse, forget the men. <laughs> sexual violence and assault. I will always speak up against it, and I don't care how much of a G you are. Today we're leaving internet trends. We're leaving humor. We're leaving diss tracks. We're leaving everything out of this. And we're against abuse as well. Yeah. Let's make that um, very clear. Hundred yeah. percent against frankly, abuse. I'm not surprised. That phone call just happened. Um. And if it's in the video, it's because she has asked it to be. And if it's not, that's what happened just now. But for those who don't know, and I find it very hard to believe that um, many of us don't know who Andrew Tate is. I don't think I have to um, do any explaining. But let's get into this. Who is Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate is a internet personality and multimillionaire self-made businessman said to run a pyramid schemed empire based on giving out business advice. I haven't really looked too much into the business because unfortunately um, everything else has just overshadowed it. But apparently it's a very successful business and many young men are being coached by this man on how to lead uh, into the future beating their chests. As most men are taught in life, we must grow up strong, we must grow up What's wrong with that? And we must that? never back down from a fall oh, yeah. <laughs> motion. And Andrew Tate uh, mm -hmm. has... But is that, is that a bad thing? It's not a bad no, thing, no, is no, it? No, no it's not. Um, lavish life. A man destroying another man. Yeah, that's sad. It's masculinity. You're destroying masculinity. Why? Just to side uh, for the feminist. Style of fast cars, jets, and having a background, a very successful background in MMA. But that's not really what's grabbed the internet's attention. Him being rich and him uh, being a kickboxer, it's just the start of it. Really, his career started back when he was in Big Brother and he was evicted because footage of him... Um, Beating a woman with a belt, who I have come to understand was his former girlfriend, uh, was released. I cannot show all of the footage, um, but this is all out on the internet. So I'll mix it up with the audio of the footage. And this is uh, the footage that was, that I believe uh, got Andrew Tate uh, removed from Big Brother. Being with what? So you removed from Big what? Brother. All right, so a long time ago. You have a belt because you're a jerk. Show me the bruises. Game. I have an idea. You my ideas? You want to know my ideas? That's right, lock the door, you You knew I was going to beat the out of you. If you behaved, I wouldn't have to hit you, would I? You don't. Get out. You can't stay in there forever. So is this a different now, video to the other one? To, yeah. Um, yeah. Said that Andrew has many girls that um, apparently uh, he has a very deliberate abusive relationships for. And some of the girls have come forward saying that they were just playing, joking, and that this was part of their dynamic and their relationship. Go tell the camera yeah. that I beat you and you don't do as I say. Don't say it. <laughs> English. Proper English. No Slovak bull <laughs> Say it to the camera. He's basically lying. 
I said when I, I said tell the camera I beat you when you don't do as I say. I didn't say the word listen. Did, did I say the word listen? Did I say the word listen? Bitch. I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? Did I say listen? No. Look at the camera. Did I say listen? No. Did I say listen to you? Did I say it? No. Did I say it? <laughs> Look at the camera. This is what happens if you don't listen. Look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? Why are you getting beaten? No, I don't listen. Do you not listen? <laughs> you. Do as I say. Now, um... This is what Tate had to say about uh, these clips being released. And then we'll give my views. Damn. So, yeah, exactly. So, you were on a reality TV show, and a video of you hitting a woman with a belt. Yeah, so video of me hitting a woman with a belt blows up. Wow. So, all in the, this is like 10 years ago, before yeah. the internet was big. So, it's like English tabloids, blah, blah, blah. Andrew's a woman beater, Andrew's a woman beater. The woman, obviously, now any, once again, this is an IQ test, right? Because yes. any guy who's bad with women would look at it and go, Tate's a woman beater. Any man who's actually a G who's been around a little bit, would look at the video and go, man, she loved it. She won't. <laughs> yeah, we probably really gave it away. So I, wow. I like, I like does what he's doing right now. Yeah, 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 because he is showing them clips. I thought he's going to just show them and start slitting him. Yeah. But he's showing what his response is. Okay, okay. looking good. Yeah, the way that Andrew responded to that was wrong. Yeah. We do not agree with that whatsoever. Uh, but I believe uh, that... That girl, that blonde haired girl, and she's come out. She, uh, yeah, she put a video forward as well, yeah. which is uh, we'll put up right now. Hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex boyfriend, Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend. What you guys saw on the video is just what we used to do, it was just pure game. He's a great guy, he would never hurt anyone unless he's fighting. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what she said. We don't know uh, if that was uh, after or if that was the same girl or if that was a different girl. Mm. We don't know. Mm. But like uh, like you said, what does uh, just reveal there? Shocking. No man should treat a woman like that. No. No man. If it's a BDSM, I don't know what takes place uh, when, you, uh, when you're sure? in that. Huh? Are you sure? <laughs> what? You don't know what takes place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, does. <laughs> Back in your younger days. <laughs> well, okay. No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what takes place here. Yeah, it? So, you know, some t uh, sometimes things can get out of hand. And mm. a woman allows it. A woman wants that. Mm. You know, to, she gets to a point where she wants blood to come out of her body. Yeah, but um, that's something that I do not know about. We don't know about. Well, so, from, if you just take that clip, that yeah. clip is awful. It's horrendous. Mm. Right? Um, so my question would be, why would you record that? Yeah, why would I you know. record yourself? Some people might say, oh, because it's so sadistic mm -hmm. that you like some people do that. Yeah, that yeah, they yeah. record abusing women and stuff like that. So I don't think we will ever get to the the the, bottom, the truth to the bottom of this yeah, truth, yeah. right? What was it? At the end, we can go off what that woman said. Mm -hmm. The woman's come forward and said this. Also, I think Tate, Daz might say this in the next couple of minutes, but that other woman, she there's another video of them again uh, a couple of years later together. Oh, and she's okay. saying the same thing, saying that, can you beat me and blah, blah, blah. You wasn't as hard and blah, blah, blah. I'm about to play you a video I made okay. maybe two years after that event of me and the woman from the video, okay. the alleged beating victim, sitting in a hotel room. This chick, who I'm still with, is Cray Cray. Listen to her. Turn around. Look. You gonna do it again? Are you gonna do it like a man this time? What do you mean like a man this time? I mean called a woman beater all over the country. Well, to me that was like a p You need to do it like a real man before it stop taking a bell off. You're f***ing crazy, you have mental problems. <laughs> Does that look like a victim to you? Okay. Right, okay. So there's videos out there that state that mm -hmm. sh that this was a mutual thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously you could take that out of context and yeah. say, look, this was what's happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Andrew Tate, obviously that's that's the narrative he's going for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna. There's no way of justifying that. No. There's no way in saying. In the, in the the past if he did it and like legitly and he came out and said i apologize i did that in the past it's 10 years ago yeah. we all make mistakes we all do stuff crazy yeah. stuff i made a mistake you know blah 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 mm. can we move on I, I don't know but yeah uh but the thing you said in that video uh post this on the internet show the people 
that's what he was uh, screaming while he was mm. uh, hitting the woman as well. So I don't know if there was if this was role play or if it's something that they were trying to do, trying to get out there. But him justifying him by uh, if you're not a real man, only a top G will understand what this is going on. That she loved it. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. Come on, Trey. You don't you don't say that, man. Look, that that's where now the line gets blurry. Yeah, yeah. So I think Andrew T is he is dangerous mm-hmm. uh, for younger audiences, yeah. like young who. Who are still trying to develop on uh, their understanding of who they are. And who yes, and life. trying to get in a relationship as well. Yeah, thinking get, that the woman wants right. this and all that. See, so you, Andrew Tate does become a bit dangerous for those yes. guys. All yeah. right, we're a bit older. We've got a lot more experience, and we yeah. can filter that. And yeah. I think that's why we get some crazy comments online as well, mm-hmm. like same day, you know. Uh, what call is your other guy when yeah. we're not even cussing and rotate yeah. so the mentality out there is a bit strange so yep. that's the way I see it so saying things like that Andrew Tate knows he's got a young following. Mm-hmm. And he needs to be a bit more responsible. And yeah. I get he, his old charade and yeah. his uh, character as a, a, a comedian mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But yep. that's when a, a young person will not understand. But then you can argue the case for anything. Andrew Tate is not responsible for what people do. Yeah. People take your content. For example, you've got rap music. You've got movies. Yeah, Young people watch that. Uh, they say uh, all this gun crime, you're linked to that. Is it or is it not? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. There's much, it does have an yeah. influence, of course, it does. But yeah, Me- media, movie, music industry is a big, much bigger influence yeah. than uh, what Tate is doing. All right, Tate, you're fighting masculinity, but like uh, uh, Jimmy explained perfectly, uh, he can't be uh, blamed for what other people do. But look at look at the people. Look how pe- uh, people are even youngsters, people at age of their uh, ten to twelve years old, are being sexualized because of uh, music. So why are you not uh, doing a video on the music industry, Mr. Daz, that kids are being exploited? Mm. Makeup, uh, you know, uh, sexualization, uh, wearing uh, uh, skimpy clothing, going out, you know, rape in uh, children and everything. It's all because of media, music, movies, all sorts. But I don't know. We just pick up on a man who's just... uh, I think uh, Andrew Tate has just picked up fame too quick. Um, But like I said previously as well, the faster you rise, the faster you fall. The uncomfortable, unpleasant body language of the woman in that video, which unfortunately I can't show on YouTube, really gave it away that she loved it, Tate. And you're right, maybe we don't understand because we're not a, a G. For me, is that like a gangster sort of thing? I don't know. She likes it. A little bit of spanking. Little bit, you know, it's normal, right? But, 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 you're not normal. but if you're a dude who never gets laid, you can't fathom that a woman would want that. Uh-huh. So... That's, they can't fathom it. So really, this is not even an IQ test. This is a test of how good you are. You see that? See what he just said there, innit? If you if you can't get, you know, uh, get it, um, that you can't uh, fathom that a woman wants that. Mm. That's that's ridiculous, man. Come on, Tate. Or chicks. So not really an explanation um, for it. Yeah. Um, his fan base seems to think that this has been debunked as a case of she was up for it. It was a submissive relationship. Now let's put aside what everyone thinks for a second and I'll tell you what I think. Without physically seeing the video, it's hard to judge just from audio how brutal um, Andrew is treating these women. She was crying. She did not look happy. This did not look like an environment where it felt safe and there were restrictions in place. When you have to hide yourself in the toilet because you know what's coming, whether you're in, you think you're into it or not, I, this is not okay. This is not okay behavior. This is not the behavior of a G. This is not the behavior of a man. And with everything else uh, cu- coming out and his words, which we'll get more and more into in this video, it's very, very apparent to me uh, and he doesn't deny it. He gets off on hurting women, making them feel vulnerable, dominating them, and letting them in their place. And that's really what's led Andrew to the top of the internet, where he's been searched more than people like Taylor Swift. His comments and misogynistic views <laughs> have been met with obvious Swift? anger and frustration. <laughs> Why but Taylor surprisingly, Swift, a lot of uh, uh, men and women have um, agreed with a lot of his views. Now, I will say this. People saying that, oh, Andrew actually makes a lot of points I agree with, though. Oh, okay. Wipe the (laughs) slate clean. Let's just, let's forget about it all, shall we? Because he said a few good things uh, and some things that I agree with. Do you know who else did that? Hitler. 
Hitler gave great advice to people. Okay, and, and I was comparing him to Hitler. Millions of people, though. In life, you have to weigh up a person. Even the most evil, corrupt people have a good side. Some of them might even have a good sense of humor. But when you weigh it up, it counters. You know, you have to judge a person by their actions. And sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper and really think about what someone's saying and what those words mean behind it before you can say, ah, it's okay because they said a good thing yesterday. I don't buy that shit. I don't get that. Let's dive a little deeper. The control over women uh, has been the subject of hot debate. And it really came from uh, one of the most popular clips and it, admittedly it was one of the first clips I saw on TikTok of Andrew, was him stating that he was entitled to a OnlyFans models if they were his girlfriend. He would be entitled to a percentage of their money if not pretty much all of it. You say a lot of stuff about women like that they're your property. That's not what I said. I was talking about an OnlyFans company when that was question was asked. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. Well, that's crazy. She is his girl. But what does that have to do with anything? Because she's his. So that is you saying that women are y your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him and the intimate parts of her body belong to him because they're in a relationship. And if she wants to sell those, he has a stake in those intimate parts of her body. So it's reverse, a uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know, because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman- Yeah, is that's inherently <laughs> where you get called sexist. So regardless of how Andrew- I'm not seeing that interview. I'm not seeing it as well. But let me just get one point straight. A woman does not belong to a man. A father, when he has children, the children are the father's property. Would you say uh, property or would you say- Responsibility. Responsibility, but yeah. But people take property the wrong way. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, responsibility. So the children are the fathers. Now, when the father gives the daughter away in marriage, there's only a contract between the woman and the man. Hmm. The woman cannot change her surname to the man's surname because the woman does not belong to the man. She keeps the father's surname because the daughter belongs to the father. Mm. Yeah. So you can't claim where Andrew Tate says, once I've got uh, this girl as a girlfriend, where there's no contract involved, that she's my property. No, she's not your property. Even if Andrew Tate married a woman in it, she's still not your property. She will not take Tate as her surname. She will keep her father's name because she belongs to the father. Yeah, because marriage can end any time. The contract ends. If that husband passes away, the contract has ended. Yeah, mm. this is where we disagree. We disagree on this part where Andrew Tate talks about this rubbish. So I'm with Daz on this one. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what he's going to say, but let's see what he's uh, going to say. He wants to put a spin on it. The fact that he believes that if a man, if the positions uh, were reversed, if a man was to be making money from his body, a woman gets nothing. I've heard other interviews of Andrew stating that in marriage, a woman, uh, her father, hands them off his tradition and hey, is given to the man. This is very true in a lot of religious uh, ceremonies and most okay, weddings, the it. father gives their daughter away. This is not a contractual agreement. You are not purchasing the woman. She is not given away to serve you. Dad walking his daughter up the aisle and say, I support your decision. That's it. That's the, that's the spiritual meaning behind it. The fact that Andrew has this warped view on that women belong to him is crazy to me. But also, we're still going through this in government today, you know? Men who have this ideology, much like Andrew, are the same men that passed rights taken away from women uh, on abortion rights. We're not going to get into that one today. That's, um... That's another issue, but it's the same mentality. I want to know your rights and uh, what your thoughts are on abortions. Uh, women can't he's, fight. He's pro-abortion. Men are pro-abortion. Yeah, the way he just spoke, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming he's pro-abortion because he's saying that men are taking yeah, yeah, away yeah. the rights of a woman. Pro-abortion. I think we'll discuss that on another time. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not the time and place. Yeah. Stronger. Like based more true things. I I think another thing I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably will. I said, if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot. Cause I think that males are better under stress and under pressure. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men. And I'll sit here and say women are. Go. 
in him. Um, now you can take away from this um, that um, the That's biological his opinion. Mm. truth that um, most men are larger in frame and stronger in muscle. Biologically, no one's an idiot. Everyone knows that's true. But that is um, where pe that's what people listen to. Ah, oh, he said something that's correct. But if and if they seem to forget everything else that he's just said. Men make better pilots. I don't know what statistics there are out there that prove that. Some of the female pilots I've met at like air shows and stuff, they're some of the best pilots in the world. And as a um, combatant, as a uh, decorated athlete in martial arts, for him to say that women can't fight is crazy to me. You've only got to like watch UFC and watch the women's division. And in most cases, they're fully capable of taking down a man much bigger and stronger than them. So this is horseshit. This is all horseshit. <laughs> yeah, but they were able to take down a UFC fighter who's a bigger and stronger. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yes, on the streets. Yes. Someone like maybe me or him, yeah. we go in the ring, they'll smash us up to pieces. Yeah, yeah. Because we're unexperienced <laughs> in that field. <laughs> we're not MMA fighters. Yeah, yeah. So if they came uh, came at us, innit, they'll, t they'll take us uh, apart. Mm. Right? So what Andrew Tate is covering here is generalizing, you know, talking about the majority of the women. Normal people yeah, out the there on people. the streets. Not the professionals. The, the professionals are the minority. Yeah. yeah. Even pilots, professionals. Yeah. Amazing pilots, women yeah. pilots. Mm -hmm. In every profession, you're going to get amazing women who yeah. are top at what they do, even maybe better than men at certain of course. circumstances. Yeah. But when you generalize and talk about just normal people, mm -hmm. there's like seven, eight billion people in this planet right now. Exactly. Yeah. And if you're generalizing, then, uh, you know, that's just a minute. That's nothing. I know. The UFC. How many women are in the UFC? It probably, I, I wouldn't even say a thousand. Right. So, yeah. A, th a thousand compared uh, to Again, it, he's, he's taking that. And then he's just conflating it. He's just saying, look, uh, you know, the, the UFC women, look how strong they are. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Look at the, I went to a show, to uh, air show on these pilots. Yes, absolutely. In the clip, doesn't Andrew Tate say, yeah, there are people, there are women and who are better than that. Yeah, yeah. But generally, generally speaking. Come on, Daz, man. Uh, bring forward some better evidence. Yeah. This is just uh, faking taking videos out of context clips and say look this is what you're saying and this is stupidity look the gen z only the gen z and the future uh, people will only think that we're we're old a lot mm. you know what i mean we're uh we can filter you know what the rubbish is and what uh, what he actually means we can filter that but again like uh, you mentioned previously in it is uh, uh it's scary for the younger generation that's uh you know uh you know, growing up, listening to Andrew Tate and moving forward with these thoughts, isn't it? And we don't say, yes, he said a good thing here. Let's wipe it, all his sins. I know. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't say that. Nah, nah, nah. The younger guys, like I said, yeah. the younger guys might do that. Yeah. Uh, like his proper hardcore fans might say, nah, yeah. nah. No, no matter what group you mm. get, yeah. In a way, Andrew Tate has created a cult, yeah. I believe, right? No matter what he does, when a cult leader does anything, you can look up. Yeah, uh, all these kind of cults out there, the leader can do whatever they want and the rape women, yeah. do whatever, marry 10 women, do whatever they want, abuse, murder, and they will follow. The minions will follow. There was a documentary, what was it called? Uh, the Indian Guru guy, he came and came to America and he did all oh, sorts, yeah, yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah, of yeah. abuse, man. There's so uh, much documentaries out there, mm -hmm. and then the, the guys will follow to mm -hmm. the end. We have that in Islam, yeah. we have uh, certain. Uh, Peers or imams or whatever you want to call them yeah. and have a cult like following no matter what the imam or the peer or whatever yeah. does they will just follow to the t yeah so it's it's everywhere yeah. every religion every aspect yeah. of life there's yeah. a person where he's got a following people follow and listen uh, to the t and do whatever he does if every he goes, person on this planet is yeah. a sinner yeah we have all sinned we are all done wrong mm -hmm. now are you gonna just say uh that's all right you've done that sin now that's you're a bad person you're condemned yeah. to hell condemned mm -hmm. we can't live like that no you have to, even our prophet told us to find good in people. Yeah. Find good in them. Mm -hmm. Even if they're wicked. And you mentioned Hitler and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Yeah. Comparing him to Hitler. Yeah. Come again, on, man. again, you, you guys always do that. Like yeah. they always uh, compare someone with Hitler. Look, Hitler did this. Hitler. And, and they choose the worst of the worst. I know. <laughs> but always try to, and that's what we try and do. Try yeah. to find the goodness in people. Right. Yeah. 
And and there's good things that he's saying, yeah. and there's bad things that he's saying, and the bad things that he's doing, and there's mm-hmm. good things that he's doing as well. Mm-hmm. All right. And and he's teaching us things that people are not teaching us in the school system, and that's what uh, we take from him, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Men are better at X, but I will say that men are better at Y. I'm not going to sit and pretend that, there you that go. we're all the same. We're not under pressure when your life is on the line. Anyone. With a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not. No, I wouldn't care. To say that, like, women are... His accounts on women are very, like, strange to me. And I've met a lot of women uh, that he sort of seems to describe. Women that are, like, really emotional, very materialistic. Sometimes when Tate is making a good, valid point, he'll have to interject a jab. You know, he'll have to get a jab in there against women and just bring them down a notch. And that's evidence in other interviews he's done. Nine months. If you're not gonna, sorry, sorry, my headphones fell off. If you're not, if you're not gonna have, if you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? Uh, if I'm not gonna have children, um, travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy. Um, try to make money. I love traveling, so I would probably just drink pres- co- drink cocktails on the beach. Okay, next. <laughs> So there it is. That's his argument. He he takes. He no, comes. that's way out of context. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that clip. Mm-hmm. I've seen that he, in that clip, he says a, such a beautiful thing about being a, a woman having yeah. children. Now, why hasn't he included that? He just snipped snipped that little clip there. Yeah. And stopped it at that and trying to say, look, this is you just point that woman down. Yeah. But he's he's t- saying it how it is. She says she want to go on holiday, didn't she say? Yeah, yeah. She doesn't want to. What you do on holiday? You want a cocktail? So yeah. he's just saying he's stating the obvious. It, you know, when is that limit gonna stop? In it, you're gonna go on holiday, enjoy yourself, in it. But when you get older, you know, you're gonna get lonelier. So if you have children now, uh, Tate f- goes on and explains why. Yes. Yes, and he explains that he was one of twenty children. Was it? Or ten children. He's got a big family. I don't, got I don't a big know. Family. I, don't I think know. it was 10, cho- 10 or 20 children. Can't remember. Uh, but he's saying, look, she's at her old age, but she's got a, a family around her now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm. She may have enjoyed her life in the past, didn't it? But she now, when she needs someone, isn't it? She's got the family, the mm. kids looking after her, the grandchildren looking after, you know, the grandma. So this is what Tate is trying to explain And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Even he clearly says it, it Go have children and grow the community mm. Yeah And marry into different ethnicities So it grows So we bring and diminish racism mm. so. But I, I just don't like Because I've seen that clip I just don't like yeah. what he's just done there I And know. I knew from the offset that he's going to do yeah. something like that Like literally let me, Let's just see what he's saying yeah. Let's see maybe his experience with the girls that he attracts and he just offloads that on the entire gender as a whole we need to stop um taking our experiences with our girlfriends our boyfriends and hitting everyone who's innocent if you see that clip guys go and Uh. find that clip yeah he he goes around the room they go around the room and they ask each woman a majority of them, probably 95% or more 99% have said "Uh, holiday I want to do this I want to do that and basically that's where he starts explaining and he's trying to teach them a lesson yeah so come on does come on come on honestly does i thought you bought some evidence real evidence Th- this is wrong oh, yeah. you you're, you're just tarnishing the guy mm. this is like you're just tarnishing reputation yes okay a few points you've had but you're basically doing the same thing to yeah. to him with the same shovel because they're the same gender as the person who hurt you this is a case that I think um, Andrew Tate needs to break because Andrew is a very materialistic man. And I don't think he tries to hide that. I think if me and him were talking right now, he'd say, absolutely, I am a materialistic man. He raves about Bugattis and fast cars and money and expensive cigars and your brands. And that's that's his, um, you know, lifestyle. He throws his lifestyle out there this is what you have to be, this is a man. If you're going to be a very... That's who Andrew Tate is. He's been like that from the start. If you look at, uh, you know, before he even hit um, a Big Brother, uh, he was like that when he was a kid, when his, um, you know, video of him going on to another show. Andrew Tate's been like that, that's his personality. Now, are you saying that no one can be like that? There are other people who are much worse. You show off, you've got, you've got millions and, you know, f- uh, Floss their money mm. and talk about it that I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. 
Everyone's gonna do it. If you got money and you got uh was it you got women, you got cars, you got expensive things, you're gonna be materialistic because you wanna show off and brag to the world. Right? But Andrew Tate does it, he likes doing it, but he gives a message along with it as well. A materialist person and think those are the things that matter in life, you will attract that in the opposite sex. You will attract a girl who is also wanting just the money, who also just wants to buy handbags and have their nails done and all the other little jabs that Andrew seems to get in. This is not all women. I have a girlfriend and barely wears makeup. She, I've never seen her get her nails done. She loves to travel. She doesn't want kids. And she's one of the most wonderful human beings on this planet. And I know so many other women who are just not these type of women that are very material. If you're gonna act material, expect to- That's your opinion, material. does, man. Yeah, so That's what, your what's opinion. your point, though? What's yeah, your point? Yeah, what is your point? Because he beds and controls so and manipulates all these women that all they care about is fame and standing on a yacht. And there are women out So there. is that his fault? Is that his fault that these women, these women are one that yeah. they come to him because yeah. they see that lifestyle <laughs> and they come to him. So is, is that his fault? But that's what he's saying, isn't it? Uh, that's what uh, Daz is saying that Andrew Tate is going to flaunt his uh, materialistic uh, good, uh, goodness mm. and uh, women who want materialistic are going to be attracted to him. So he's saying that So his um, perception of women is those women. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's what he's trying to say. Right. So that's why uh, women like that, uh, like who like materialistic things, are only going to be attracted to Tate, and they're going to be. But everyone's like that. Even if look, look in the day and society today, what media has done, what uh, you know, music industry, everyone wants the riches. People are divorcing. You know, women are divorcing their men and mm. going with rich men yeah, because they want that. So yeah, where's yeah. the love? Come on, explain that part, uh, Daz. Not every woman is how you're describing it now. Uh, like your girlfriend doesn't wear makeup, doesn't do her na mm. nails, and is the best person. Yes, yeah, she probably is the best woman in your in, life. In your life, in your opinion. Yeah, in your opinion. He, but he not has every to say woman that. is like that. <laughs> he has to say not that. every woman is like that. Honestly. Yeah, but again, fundamentally, women are like the the basic makeup yeah. of a woman is same. Yeah. It's like man, when women start judging men, men are all the same. Mm. I'm divorced now. Men are all the same, right? We have some similarity it's just genetic yeah and women are going to be the same mm -hmm. now andrew tate's got a lot more experience with women now mm -hmm. i would like to know how many women has does been with and i i doubt is more than andrew no tate mm -hmm. yeah i doubt it yeah so no fair enough you're happy with your woman the yeah. way she is fair enough but yeah. if that's his life and he's got all the women which come to him mm -hmm. Um, then that's going to be his perception But yeah. again, once you Like I said, the makeup of the woman Is going to be pretty much the same So you can kind of generalise yeah, yeah. That women are like this And women yeah. are emotional We can see that because yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got my queen And if I've got uh, like, uh, let's say $10 million And I'm driving a, a Lamborghini or a Bugatti If I did uh, spend $3 million, uh, on a Bugatti uh, Which I would have never do yeah, so don't ask me what colour my Bugatti is because I'm not that stupid to spend uh, that much money on a on a car which I uh, will only do the same job as a, a Toyota. Um, even if I'm driving around, I'm going to get looks from women. Mm. Women who are already in a relationship, women who are not in a relationship, women who are looking for materialistic things, they'll come and talk to me. If I had a normal car, they wouldn't. Yeah, so mm. these things that happen, you don't know. And you can't say that every woman is going to be like uh, your woman. Uh, like this, as there are men. Just because that's all he knows. And of course that's all he knows. He's material. He's attracting material girls. Girls with common sense don't go near him. So of course he doesn't what know What about the, the women side. before he was rich? <laughs> mm. About the same thing. Like that came to him. Yeah, career, yeah. Things like you that. heard his stories like, when he was poor. He still had the women. What about, uh, what about you? Um, I honestly just want to... Get right into my career. See, he's asking. So a bunch of women who choosing not to have children, which is, um, we're not in the 1940s. This is not the 1940s. Now, a woman we know has a biological clock. Mm -hmm. So she can only have kids to a certain age, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, it gets difficult. Yeah. So what the agenda, what the, um, the elites have done mm -hmm. is just destroyed all that and said, look, as a woman, 
you need to pursue your career you need to work until you are like 40 50 yeah, then yeah. think about having children huh. but by that time you know it's going to be a lot more difficult you probably have one that's why in the western world you guys have one on average like one and a half kids you know uh-huh. what i mean one two kids and then the eastern world look at them alhamdulillah like they got five six plus kids Some naturally they got to Somali, overpop- 12 13 15 yeah. 20 kids <laughs> overpopulate <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah. naturally they, they got to overpopulate yeah uh, and the, the, the so-called threat in europe of muslims yeah, Muslim family, this is the fundamental of it. Like the Muslim family, the core of a Muslim family. Mm. Once you're married, you have kids, you grow that. And like I said before, um, have as many as uh, you can and just just grow the family. But yep. the, that's just the way society is. The elite don't want that though, do it's, they? It's a clash of mind here. Yeah, yeah. There's a clash. So that is one of the guys who's like, yeah, again, we're not against, um, you know, education. And if you want to pursue your career, yeah, yes, pursue your career. career but let, let it be known that down the line, once mm-hmm. you're getting older, it's getting more difficult for you to have kids. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, when you're older and you can't take care of yourself, who's going to be taking care of Only you? Only then will you think, I should that's have when you regret down. it. Yeah, that's there when was a regret. woman actually one of those uh, clips on Andre Tate. Yes, there was. Yes, there was a woman who said, um, "What did she say? I can't remember." She's. I think she regretted not having kids or something. I can't remember. Was it along those lines? No, or? no, no. She, oh no, she was talking about a man. She regretted leaving him, man. All oh, right. Yeah, okay. and it's difficult so uh, taking care of a child on her own. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So she's a single mother. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's another topic, but yeah. Back kids. For women to just have kids stay at home and bake fucking bread. I thought we were past this ideology. So that's a very fair answer. Andrews asks, what do you guys want to do if you guys didn't want to have kids? They've given very reasonable answers, which most men also would not want kids for the same reasons. What's his response? Yeah. It doesn't matter. With- well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just, my career. Go do it. Go do it. It's your life, you know? Damn right. A life without children is is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is matters. It's from Cornwall now. Matters. Boy, you Come need on, to take, mate. You Come need on. a Bugatti tractor. Your job will fire you out of whim and not. Come on, Daz. What are you playing at, mate? He's got an important point to yeah, say. Yeah. Why are you're you... taking a piss out of the way he is acting it. Uh, yeah. What, what are you doing that for, mate? Come on. Give us right. Don't give us solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren. That- what is this anger? Why? It's like he has to tell them. No, yeah. this is a very unhealthy man. With an- I can't be bothered. I can't <sighs> be bothered watching this anger. Sometimes have you seen like these lectures? You, it's passion. It's anger to say, yeah. wake up. Now like I'm doing right now, wake up. Yeah. I'm gonna sit there. All right, wake up. You should have children. Yeah. No one's gonna listen. It's passion. But he's saying, what's this anger? Oh, it's anger against women now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the women turn it in it. They're turning it. Everything. <sighs> Daz, I'm disappointed a bit, man. Come on, man. I thought at the beginning you're all right, but now you're you're taking a piss out of him. Mm. And now uh, things out of context and things that he actually is saying a good point. And uh, you just Downplaying it, yeah. Think, yeah. I thought I'd uh, I liked you at that. He picked up some good points, but now you're just uh, going downhill, does let's see. Very unhealthy mm. addiction to the domination of women. I'm telling you, this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself. Do you think the fact that you could afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? See, again. Uh, there's the jab. Oh, you're not gonna no, have it's not the jab. No, it's bags. not a jab, mate. All these women are just. One of them just said she wants to be a doctor and save lives. These women have goals, <laughs> and you're still. <laughs> but then when she finds a rich man, she's gonna leave that career, mate. <laughs> Isn't Honestly. she? <laughs> oh my days Honestly I want to stop this interview right here I can't I, be bothered Honestly I man. want to stop it right here What's the point even going on bro We're only 18 minutes in I know man Seriously man I can't I can't I can't listen to this crap Honestly Like I thought Everyone's buzzing over this Oh it's The best video out there He's ended him Not No 
people Nothing. reached out to us they're saying man look Daz is the man who ended Tate under Tate's care how are you are you guys going to react to it please do react to it and what what what's so good about it all right he started off well he started yeah. off well with yeah. the abuse okay yeah. you got something there is that the only thing that you've got the rest is just uh, him spitting facts and the way he's speaking now you've got a problem with the way he speaks with his accent the way he's saying things wow has it come down to this this is what people are so happy about that does has done justice that's it they want to shut it down they want to shut people like him down yeah like uh, Andrew Tate down who speak like that and tell the truth Mm. This is what's going to happen When you are 52 years old You're going to be lonely Go out there guys Go out there to them old homes And go and ask mm. these people Yeah And unfortunately it's happening now Muslim community now yeah. You're chucking your parents Into a whole old home And going mm. living with your wife And having kids And chilling out Yeah Yeah When it's our responsibility To take care of the parents Go and ask them Go and ask them who raised you Go mm. and ask them And see how they feel Yeah the are one, they lonely? Yeah. Yes, they are lonely, man. They got a cut. Oh, I'm happy with my cut. Yeah. No, they're not. They're not happy. You women out there, or even men who are agreeing with uh, Daz, yeah, on this point, go out and ask the people who have not got children. Ask the older generation who have not got children and ask them how they feel and they'll tell you straight, I wish I had children. I wish I spent, uh, settled down and not concentrated so much on my career, settled down, had children, so someone would have been looking after me today. Mm. Not me going out struggling to do my shopping. Mm. Not me relying on my neighbour or someone else or a caretaker to come to my home to take care of me, to wash my batty. To wash me, to bathe me, because yeah. I can't do it, because I don't have that uh, the children in my life, because yeah, yeah. I was concentrating on my own freaking career. That's it. No one to say hi to me. No one to ask how I'm doing. Yeah. No one to say happy birthday on my birthday. No one to come and give me a gift. Exactly. No one. That's what you need. The grandchildren. You need children. And you are to happy. Have... You are freaking happy. What are you happy about? When you get older, it's only then you will regret it and realize mm. that I wish I did this. I wish I never agreed with Daz. I wish I agreed with Andrew Tate and had children. Now, again, it comes all back to life experience. Mm. I don't know Daz, I can't judge him, but from our previous um, subjects, mm -hmm. XQC and Aiden, it seems like he don't have as much life experience as Andrew say I don't think he would your ever. gamers right what, gamers what, 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 behind what, the screen gamers, right. behind the uh, screen you got multi uh, million pounds or dollars in your account yet you stay in a room and you don't know uh, what's going on on the outside world right exactly so you're not going to meet as many people you're mm -hmm. not going to experience as much so you won't able to identify that issue Mm. The only uh, so you'll only pick it up because whatever the narrative is on your computer that's showing you every single day yeah. this narrative of women can do whatever they want. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. We're not saying that. Do what you want. Mm. But there's a, also a little disclaimer, a little warning mm. that yes, pursue your career, but if you put that at the forefront, the nuclear family is going to get destroyed. Yep. Um, and that's what's happening now with the, the energy prices. People have to, women have to go and work. Mm -hmm. The wife has to go and work. Father has to go and work. Child left alone. Yeah. So think about that. Think about that deeply. Mm. And then again, it's up to you. You make that choice. Daz is saying this, you know. Andrew Tate never ever says, as far as I know, that women should not have a right to education or mm. should not pursue their career. Never said it. He's saying, he's asking him, what would you want to do? What's your, what's your plan? Mm -hmm. Right, career, career, hol want to be on a beach, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I don't want kids at the moment. Fair enough. At that moment in time that like he said, they might be 18, 19, 20, maybe at that time they don't want to feel like they're having kids. Mm -hmm. All right. 1940, my friend does. Mm -hmm. They used to have kids at 8 or 12, 13, even oh, yeah. younger. So it's not the 1940s. All right. If it was 1940s, we would say, oh, and by the time you're puberty, you need to have kids. Yeah. This is the issue. This this is a proper issue in our society now, because mm. this never used to happen before. Having because of the career, because of this digitalic system that says now you should be working and the women's rights yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, carry on, do what you want. 
Mm. Yeah, and then have kids later. It's not important. I'm gonna watch another five ten minutes of this man. If uh, if he goes uh, carries on going down this uh, rabbit hole, we're gonna shut you off. Yeah, we're gonna turn you off. Sorry, guys, but this 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 is no justice, mate. This does not done any yeah, justice whatsoever. Yeah, it does. Suppose you can comment and start yeah. doing whatever. We don't give a shit. Mm. Yeah, we try to be uh, neutral. Yeah, but we can't because he's not doing justice. Yeah. So let's continue. Treating them like they're just some basic young 19 LA chick who just is obsessed with Chanel. That is not all women. And of course, this is Andrew's advice. Of course, this is his experience in relationships. Because as he's already said publicly, he prefers- It's also said that he prefers to date girls that are 18 or 19 so he can make an imprint on them. He prefers to date 18, 19 year old teenagers because he likes to imprint on them. Yeah, no wonder your girlfriends, all they're interested in is getting their nails done and handbags and going out and partying. Because they're young. This is why it seems alien to us guys and older women what you're saying about all women. It's not because we're virgins or can't get laid. It's because we're dating real women. You're dating kids that are still developing. So of course your knowledge on women is, is primitive. Of course all girls in your eyes only care about getting their nails done. You haven't dated a real woman. And you know why? Because when they get a little bit older than 18, grown up and they're a bit more mature most women wouldn't go near you if you were made of gold tate and if they do decide to make the terrible mistake of getting with you they realize i don't want to be a slave i actually like my life or in with my knowledge they get you arrested date a real woman first before majority of the women probably would want to date him because they want that yeah that's what he's not understanding. Mm. He's thinking, uh, oh, yes, he said his preference. That's his preference. Does that mean he's constantly dating 18, 19? No. no. Preference. Okay. If he wants an 18-year-old, he can get that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he can get that. And he's he's mentioned uh, previously about his other girls that he's had. He's had really good relationships. He's mm -hmm. been in love with girls, uh, women. But how do you define a real woman? Now, this is a new question. <laughs> what is a woman? Forget it. What is a yeah. real woman? What is a real woman? Yeah. Yeah. It could be at any girl. age. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, even if you're, was it, uh, in the 60s, you still want the materialistic things. Yeah. There's women yeah. out there. 30, are you, are we, are you trying to say, Daz, uh, that a, uh, a real woman doesn't want that? Of course she wants that. Everyone wants their security. I, I saw a little clip of a woman being questioned. There was an like, interview and she goes, uh, she was asked basically, would you date Andrew Tate? And she knew Andrew Tate and what he's all about. And she thought about it and she goes, Yeah, probably, yeah. There you go. Even though she's against what he says. Yeah, yeah. Because they want a piece of that lifestyle, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone <laughs> wants that piece of lifestyle, man. And then, then they probably leave or whatever. Andrew Tate gets bored yeah, and yeah. he moves on. <laughs> but um, what is a real woman? And that is another yeah, question. Another question for you guys. Uh, yeah. What is a real woman? Because back in the day, a woman would be like, uh, as soon as she reached puberty, that's why back in the day they used to get married and have kids because that's when mentally everything was ready. Yeah. In this day and age, mentally, no chance. No chance. Back in the end, they're mentally, because yeah, as yeah. kids, they were working, they were doing the chores, they're doing whatever, right? They, were, they became women at such a young age. It's their parents, their mother, yeah. that society. Taught them how to be a real woman. Society. Yeah. And but, if you look at all the movies going back into them uh, mm. years, isn't it? It's always a woman that's taking care of the home, the children, bringing uh, you know a beautiful upbringing. Any movie, go and watch it. It's only in today's day and society uh, society that you'll see that a woman will be working. A woman mm. is equal to a man. A woman can do anything a man can do. So I don't know. Mm. Let's see. What is a real woman? Let us know. You start spewing all this trash everywhere. Not only that, it's not just your attitude, it's because you look like if someone handed a gym membership to a minion. <laughs> he does look like a. Now he's uh, talking about a gym. Listen, we're not here to slate you, Daz. All right. If you want, we'll flipping slaughter you right now. <laughs> we will slaughter you. But I don't want to do that. No. Yeah. We've got some class. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, you're talking about gym memberships and you call him a minion. Now you're cussing him, you're slating him. Okay. Is it jealousy that's kicking in now? Yeah. Is it jealousy that's talking? Well, put them two together. Put Daz there, put Andrew Tate there. All right. And then get 100 women and see which one they choose. Even even though they know what Andrew Tate's like, I guarantee Andrew Tate will take majority of the women. And look, yeah, like you said, put Andrew Tate there, put Daz there. Daz has probably got the same amount of money that Andrew Tate's got. Mm. Yeah. He's got 7.7 million followers. He's got so much uh, sponsorship, etc. He's a gamer. They get paid shit loads. Mm. Yeah. Now, again, who would he choose? Andrew Tate, innit? Let's see, he's cussing him. Minion. Yeah. Let's make that trend. Andrew Minion. The same as muscle men are muscle bound dickheads that only believe that who they can beat up and how much money they can make and how many girls they've had in a jacuzzi makes them a man. What makes people a man is just treating people with fucking respect. Bald headed, Mr. Potato looking fuck it. You look like a dildo. I'm oh, sorry, days, Andrew, man. you look like a dildo. And I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit how big and tough you are. Do you want to know something I, that I've been getting from um, actual fans of mine as well? Andrew could beat you in a fight, Daz. Why are you bothering? The fact that people out there, young boys and men, even still today, um, are coming at me saying you can't beat him in a fight. And do you want to know something? <laughs> do you want to know what the a lot fuck? of men won't admit? And again, to me, this is being a real decent man. Who gives a fuck who can beat who up? I'll be the first man to say, Andrew Tate, me and him in the ring, he'd whoop my ass. <laughs> of course he would. He's a decorated kickboxer, and he's good at it. You can't defeat me. No, I know. <laughs> but he can. I'm not here. Decorated. There you go, Mr. Daz. You just contradicted yourself, didn't you? What do you say about women before? You know, men, women being good in the uh, ring. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're talking about experience. Tate will whoop your ass because he's got experience. He's a kickboxer. He's He'll trained. Whoop your he's he, trained. Yeah, he goes to gym. Yep. He'll whoop your ass because you're not trained. Like we said, we're not trained, innit? So a woman who's trained mm. in that field will whoop our asses. <sighs> man. Uh, to prove I'm a tough man and I can beat his ass, very likely would win in a fight against me. Not very likely. If Certain. That makes you happy, <laughs> doesn't mean I'm, I'm scared of the guy. Unless Andrew Tate uh, slips up and uh, smacks his head somehow and uh, he's knocked out. In that scenario, yeah, yeah, you'll win, but it's certain you will be destroyed. Uh, yes. Probably. One blow. Uh, probably dead. Or one, yeah. Like in a hospital it. or something. One punch man. Oh, it does look a bit like one punch man, doesn't it? <laughs> Saitama. <laughs> Mr. Tate and Saitama. Okay, some anime in there. Oh, yeah. Well, again, back in the day, if you had an issue with a man, a man had an issue with a man, what did they do? They went for a duel. Yeah. Let's take it. Let's, let's deal with our situation like a man. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's just, yep, 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 yep. Uh, honestly, an, uh, a duel solved everything. Solved it all. If, if I whooped someone's ass, isn't it, that was disrespecting me for like for years, that after that duel, that man will have nothing but respect. Yeah. He'll uh, accept his uh, uh, defeat and, and just respect. And that he's person. he's a stronger and, man. Yeah, he's a better man in in a, that yeah. certain way. And so, they probably uh, become best friends after yeah. that. So maybe let's make this happen. Forget <laughs> forget Paul Logan does versus Andrew Tate. Oh, That'll days, be a fight to watch. No way, man. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right. At least he's admitting he'll get whooped. Yeah. All right. Cool. It doesn't mean that that should take anything away from this video. Say we did fight. Say we got in there and we beat the shit out of each other. Each then other. What? It doesn't matter who would win the fight. He's still a prick. I'm still me. <laughs> Nothing changes. We just discovered who's a better fighter. What are and you? That's the that's... Ideologies, uh, behind shit. Andrew and how men should be. And as men, we need to stop generalizing this fear of I'm not tough. Oh, everyone says he can beat me up. I gotta go prove that I can beat him up. Why? 
Why? Why must we still be in a world where men are raised? Why? Because on the streets, the streets rules. If you said something and you chat shit to someone's face, mm. do you think you'll be standing there? Nope. He'll be like, okay, let's have a dialogue. Let's sit down. Mm -hmm. It'll kick your ass <laughs> right there and then. If you can't do it, it'll bring you back up as well to do it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. But we're in the age of internet, isn't it? Yeah, so It's yeah. like behind the screen. That's you got, why you got so keyboard warriors probably yeah. typing right now yeah. about cussing us and saying stuff about us. And yeah. Go ahead, do what you want. So tough, isn't it? Because uh, <laughs> no one can find you. We got a, a, we, we a got look. ways. Yeah, we got ways. <laughs> we got ways. <laughs> so think twice before you make a bad comment about us, mate. <laughs> and same on purpose only. You must be tough. <laughs> you are a provider. You gotta sleep with as many women as possible to be a G. Come on, move on, man. Still don't know what a G is. The fact that men still go around. You're not a G. Scared. That's one, one thing <laughs> that's clear. To admit that they can be beat in a fight. They're scared. They've got to prove how tough you are. Why? It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be down. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay yeah. if you are in a relationship and your partner... The society has made you think like that, mate. A woman, what, what do you say? The relationship and your partner who is a female earns more than you. Yeah. Who oh. gives a shit? If you could just strive for happiness and be a happy man... And treat those around you how you want to be treated. I guarantee you, Andrew does not want to be on the bed, vulnerable, being beaten the shit out of <laughs> by a group of women. He'd never allow it. He wouldn't allow a woman to cheat. Quite right. We'd all agree with that. I agree with that. Oh. A man can cheat, according to Tate. But don't worry. The first thing he said made sense. So I'm going to ignore the second thing. Swats. The happiest really women on things. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers That's the crazy. happiest people on earth i guarantee it your your That's mothers true. ask your That's own true. mother do you true. regret having me yeah, she's gonna say first off not. you're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me so now you're gonna sit here and you're gonna end your own oh, bloodline yeah. all the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say no i don't want kids i'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to have a fucking <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach it's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. It's just, again, it's just That's brilliant. Any That's point absolutely you're brilliant. To make, and this whole point is <laughs> fucking wrong it's always got to be interjected with oh your shitty instagram it's all these women have just given very intellectual very huh? fair statements that really? what they want to do with it <laughs> yo i give up bro i give Seriously, up man. this guy is just he's not look we're about truth we want truth all right and in our videos go and look at uh, our videos we've said it so many times we don't care who you are we want truth right but don't bullshit us. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is bullshit. This is biased. You can say we're, we're biased towards Tate. Yes, we have a little bias. But we say, look, even with the Hassan Abi, yeah. we said we're going to try to dissect this. But you got no points whatsoever. No points they, they whatsoever. They made intellectual. Yeah, yeah. Mate, he's not even watched the full video, has he? He hasn't. No, no, no. He's just taking clips, man. People have sent him clips. I don't think he's, he's even done the research himself. I think his team, well, here's a clip, you know, here's uh, something, uh, uh, was it controversial? Go and say it. Uh, go and use this and do this. Look how he's using his uh, anger. Look how he's uh, raising his tone and all that. So, mm. so, come on, man. Go and watch the whole thing, innit? And then bring, go and react to the whole thing. If you want to do, you know, put Andrew Tate and cuss him in it, go and react to each individual video of his. All right, mm. fair enough. He uses, uh, uh, you know, some remarks uh, that might be offensive uh, to women and all that, but he makes a point and clarifies it. Yeah. And then he, he talks sense. Like Mr. Daz, you're not talking sense at the moment. You're talking rubbish. Hmm. Their Instagram, their Instagram is rubbish. Yeah. These women, they got shit on their Instagram. Exactly, and you're rubbish. happy for them to show their. Uh, what What would these women be if there was no Instagram today? Yeah, mm. take Instagram away from these women, and they'll be crying. 
What were they be? The, uh, if you take Instagram away from them, I guarantee you every single one of them women will go and say, "Oh, I need a man. I need to settle down. I need to have children." <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah. yeah. But with Instagram, they're showing the people that oh, this is me. Look at me traveling here and there, jumping into next people's houses mm. and cars, showing that look, I've got this uh, sugar daddy. He's treating me today. He's buying me this and all this. And it's Instagram that's fucking up your minds. And you're agreeing with that, Mister Daz? You don't look at that. No, no, no. I'm not liking this. Their lives and how children would impact that. I'm a dad. And it does. It takes over your whole life. It's a dedication. Some want it, some don't. That's fine. I'm not surprised. Why am I surprised? It's just another video of another man telling women. When did Andrew Tate say, oh, you all need to have uh, kids? Mm. When did he say that? No. Of course, if you want kids, have them. If you don't want kids, don't have them. Mm. But think about it. Yeah, think about Yeah. If you're not going to have kids, think about this. Again, there's consequences, consequences later, on, later, later on, on down the life. That's what Andrew try, Tate is trying to explain. He's saying the best people are the ones who had kids. Once you had a, a child, you look after it. It's the best thing that's ever happened to you. Mm. Yeah, and you will make it your life to take care of that kid. Like he's saying, he's a father. It takes your time. It takes everything out of you. But it's it, it's satisfaction at the end of it that. And when your child grows up and becomes something, I did that as a parent. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. <sighs> My days, man. See, you're putting words in our uh, uh, in your uh, viewers' mouths that are not meant to be. <laughs> the thing is, I think look, we've critically looked at this because we look at Andrew Tate. We watch his full videos. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we can kind of analyze. So my question is: Has does seen all like a lot of his videos or in full like for example that like, uh, fresh and fit one has he seen that whole uh whatever two hour podcast whatever it was has he seen it no. i doubt it highly highly doubt no. it so when you think takes things out of context then you it's just you know you can make whatever you want of it yeah it's the same with anything the people do with, with, us, like with in, our religion yeah, they do all the like, time uh, um one of the podcasts that we did or one of the reactions we did um, to matt walsh i said i'm transitioning take that out of context mm. uh, i'm transitioning i'm going to become a female because i get looked after better mm. yeah i'm going to join the brigade you can take that out of context and say look at this muslim man joining the brigade <laughs> you know what i mean so, yeah Oh, my days. And what to do with their own bodies and their own lives. It goes as far up as the fucking governments that run this world. We are still telling women what they should do with their bodies. No one has the right to tell me what to do with my body. Unless you're a doctor and you're advising I lose. Your lord and your creator can. Yes. All right. So this is where we now differ. This is where our path goes. Mm. You go that way, we go this way. We have a creator who created us and knows every minute detail of you. And he is the one who will tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do with your bodies, with your lives, with your spiritual, everything. The manual is there. Now, this is where we take. Now, men are in charge. That's historically always been the case. Men are in charge. Yep. So they're going to dictate that to the community, which includes women. Simple as that. Simple as. Okay. If you want to go by the that uh, narrative of my body, do whatever I want. Yeah, do it. Because there's a lot of issues that's happening now. A lot of issues. And a lot of things that you want to put in place, which Islam already says. Yep. You want to make it a crime to for us to look at women now, mm. or even cat call, right? Islam has that solution already. Yeah. So yeah, keep going around in circles. Yeah. Keep going around in circles. Let the women do whatever they want to do, eh? Mister yeah. does. Let them do whatever they want to do. Let them walk the streets naked. Yeah. Let them get raped, eh? You're allowing it if you let the women do whatever they want to do. So you don't look at the consequences. We look at the consequences, yeah? Our creator said, cover up, we cover up. Mm. And there's a reason behind it, and we do not question it. And when, if we do, and this, and if we ignore that, we know what will happen. So he, he's saying, saying that no one can tell me to do, yeah, yeah. no one can tell me uh, what to do with my body. Yeah. Only like a doctor, professional. Yeah, yeah. All right. The doctors that we have seen now, 
in this day and age <laughs> and you're going to tell them who are telling kids to yeah. inject hormones and hormone blockers yeah. into their uh, bloody system mm. these prof professors and so-called harvard graduates these are the guys that you got to go to and then yeah. they'll tell you what to do with your body good luck yeah. and good luck to your children because yeah. uh, the muslims and islam we are not standing for that and i'm sure there's christians out there i'm sure there's atheists out there i'm sure there's other people out there who stand same with us yeah Wait, or I change my lifestyle because it's for the better of me. No one has an entire generation of women. You're selfish because you want a career. Andrew Tate. You never has already said that. Said that women can't he never fight. said that. If he hasn't watched UFC, you can have a he career, hasn't kids. women's kickboxing. Yeah. He hasn't seen the fucking Olympics. He must be blind. But let me tell you something, Andrew. Women can not only fight with their fists. Women have been fighting for centuries just for the rights to exist. Whilst you're out there fighting for some belt no one gives a shit about, women have been fighting for the rights to vote, rights to, to do what they want to their bodies. There are still places in the world where women can't enter a kitchen if they're on their periods. There's a lot of yeah, work to be that. done. And it's men like this that hold shit back. Not just because these this ideology and this ego and this toxic masculinity, which is becoming <sighs> archaic. Coming medieval, you're a dying breed, Andrew. No, you're not. I will not have my daughter grow up in a world where the internet is pasted with your shit opinion on women. We're meant to be moving forwards. How can we move forwards when our future men, that could be gentlemen, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Decent. Oh my days. Just guys that don't care. <laughs> guys that can fucking cry and not be judged. Guys. Is like he crying right now? Hmm? Is he crying right now? <laughs> more hate. People are paying this man for his advice on how to start a successful company. Women have been fighting for years. What's that got to do with anything? Else? Don't tell me women can't fight. So oh welcome my to days. my bedroom. Aren't you lucky? So now he's Only talking you. about two different fights here. Before you're talking about a physical fight, which Andrew Tate was uh -huh. talking about. Now you're talking about a different fight, which is a right for women, a different fight. Islam gave women rights. Yep. Does. Look into that as well. Uh -huh. Before all you guys, it's only about uh, 100 years ago that yeah, yeah. Yeah, women couldn't vote. What are you? Uh, are you religious? Does. Yeah, or are you an atheist? I think he's probably an atheist. The way he's talking. Is, the other way he's talking. Progression. Yeah. Again, progression. Uh -huh. What? What defines progression? Let women do what they want. Let your kids uh, inject uh, hormones and all that crap. Mm. You can transition and call yourself a, a she, he, it, this, that. Mm. Is this progression for you guys? If it is, I don't want to be part of that progression. Nope. Thank you very much. I'd rather be in the medieval times, as you call it. Yeah. I'd rather be in that time, honestly. Oh, yeah. You and every hot chick in the world is to see this room. She's probably handcuffed under the bed. Now, I know I'm not even going to touch upon the uh, human sex trafficking, um, you know, stuff like that. Unfortunately, I can't prove any of that. that there you go. That's why you can't touch it. And, uh, <laughs> Andrew has already come forward and stated that this woman... Yeah, I'm not proving anything so far. ...jealous, whatever, and then she texts her boyfriend and he called the police, whatever. I don't know. Let's see how much logic he can juice out of us in this video. A lot of people ask me, well, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to your bed? And my answer is simple. Why wouldn't I have a machete next to my bed? Why don't you have a machete next to That's a nice machete. Like, what if someone gets in the house <laughs> and fresh? Where do you get one of those from? <laughs> yeah, someone knocks on my door in the middle of the night. I have to go answer the door. Just instantly pick up my machete. <laughs> yeah. Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? It's like he's hiding what does it say? from something. It's like he's what? Hey, look, man. <sighs> Andrew Tate is a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking comedian. You, can you not tell? Why are you taking oh everything so serious? Days. Seriously. He, he's a character. He's playing this character mm. because he knows this is how the internet works and this is how I'm going to get views and my popularity is going to boost. He's a freaking comedian. I hope he becomes a proper comedian. Yeah, but touch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Touch, a lot of people said that and he needs to become a comedian because the shit that he comes out with is hilarious. Yeah. But uh, look. Even if that was uh, legit, let's take the comedy out of it. 
Who wouldn't keep a weapon next to them beside mm. their beds if someone came knocking on your door at 3 a.m.? Mm. If Especially if you're um, a well-known person, a person like uh, Andrew Tate, who's got money, you know, living in a mansion. Yeah, right? he's got something got to cars outside. Robbed, Someone's yeah. knocking on your door at 3 a.m. Mm. You'd be walking down with a weapon to answer the door. You'll keep the weapon behind your back. You wouldn't show it. Mm. But if someone tries to attack you, at least you've got something there behind you uh, to uh, defend yourself with. Right. Question for you, Daz. If there was a knock or someone bro- broke in, <laughs> all right, are you going to go down or is your woman going to go down? Answer that question. I think the answer will be the same as XQC's answer. I think it's going to be exactly the same. Because yeah. women, ugh, I can't be asked going into that. Compensating. It's probably just the postman. If you have to go to the front door and feel you need a machete every single time you go to the front door, you've done some bad shit. You're worried about something. No, no. So you're making door. a conclusion oh, God, now. Yeah, yeah. My teeth. This is Fucking completely post-door. wrong. I Please thought this would be better. House. I, can, I can produce a weapon. And if you can't do the same thing, you need to think long and hard about why you're such a little pussy. So some dude, some little pussy ass dude. So this, this clip uh, inspired <laughs> many people to say that um, Andrew's just trolling us, uh, that this entire thing uh, from the beginning has just been a character. Well, there you go. Hey, oh, yeah. Who know him personally have said that this is not the case. This is exactly what he's like, and we can see it going way back in interviews uh, to the Big Brother days, to his uh, island survival days when he took part in um, trash reality shows. You can see this mentality has always been there from a very young age. And to answer those people that if it is a character and all these things he's saying about women in this video and all the other videos, um, is if it's just a character, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is going out there. People are buying this. People are believing this. It is encouraging hatred towards females. It, it it's it's still wrong. If it's fake or if it's real, how is that encouraging I hatred to towards a women? YouTuber. Mm, I think he's just talking generally. Talking generally now. That he was not only sleeping with his sister, but that she was also 13 years old. Turns out that she was one of his friends. They weren't sleeping together, and she was 19 or something. And everyone, and a lot of people were like, oh, it's, you know, it's just for views. And that YouTuber reacted back to me and talked to me at a um, convention saying, are oh, you talking bare shit about me? I said exactly what I saw. You made a video pretending you were sleeping with your underage sister. That's pedophilia and incest. Even if it's fake, which it was, doesn't take away from the disturbing nature of the act. Just because someone says something good and positive, okay, doesn't take away from the fact that they're an asshole. Andrew Tate donates to charity. So did Jimmy Savile. He should have moved to Romania too. He would have got away with a oh, lot more. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Savile, uh, even though he's d- dead, I don't know if he's been convicted, but I think he has been convicted. I think he has, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I think you can still get convicted even though you're yeah, dead, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, if that's the case, you know, that's basically he, this overwhelming evidence with Jimmy Savile. All right. Too much evidence. Again, maybe he'll get locked up. Who knows? At the moment, he's a free man. He's yeah. not been locked up. So it seems like there's not much complaints of there's complaints to baseless cl- claims yeah. against him. If he was that bad, he would have been locked up. Yeah, you can make a case of, oh, he lives in Romania and that's the reason why he lives there. Mm-hmm. Possibility, I don't know. You can make that as you wish because um, I think he mentioned about Romania, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He lives there because of corruption. It's yeah. easy to, to buy out. But uh, let's continue, man. Let's see what's... Said to me, yeah, but if it's next to your bed, what if you, like, upset a girl and she catches you cheating and gets a machete? Bro, there's no female alive, <laughs> even with a machete. That would stand a chance against a <laughs> immense. Hold on, he's loading. Someone forgot to charge their tate. It's power I possess. <laughs> okay. Anyone, you can see he's smirking as well. Yeah, yeah. I think is his personality mixed with make it. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's conflated his character. Yeah, so, yeah. like you said, yeah, there's a point that you know back in the day he was like that, which uh-huh. I've seen as well. So his personality, and I think he's conflating it because I remember watching one clip where he, and the lady interviewing him says um, about his child, if his child became like a beater or something, you know, one of them 
Andrew Tate crypto, yeah. yeah, yeah, crypto or something like one of them geeks. Yeah, well, okay. And he goes basically, no, nah, I wouldn't allow it, and I will, um, I will say to my child or my son or whatever, let's have a battle, a duel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. After he said that, he kind of broke character and said, no, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do yeah, that. I'm just yeah. messing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's 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 a showmanship. He knows his showmanship mm. mixed with his personality. Yeah. So does I don't know. I don't think you can read people well. I don't, but, I don't okay, think there's one point you made, uh, you know, showing that, um, you know, even showing that it's bad and people yeah. take it. But we kind of mentioned that there's other, so many bad things, the rap music, the other music and movies, all sorts. So yeah. sh- shall we ban movies now? or Exactly. Oh, well. If a woman or a man, anyone comes at you with a machete like that, it's not like the movies. You, you run. You don't try and disarm them and chop them. Wah! You're going to get hurt. Someone's swinging and wielding a machete. You're not going to be able to stop them. And guys like this that think they're some sort of gods, no one can beat them. I just know I just know so many guys like this. And it frustrates me because their ego is so out of whack that it's like they're not based in reality. You're going to get hurt regardless of gender you're gonna get fucked up if someone comes at you with a machete and the end of subjects best thing yeah that's true yeah way. have you ever seen a woman try and do anything competently jesus christ let's see it coming what would a woman do man this is jokes man how are you how can you people not tell this is jokes man video <laughs> with women whole ideology that women are just completely incapable oh my of days combat at all. so that so the <laughs> word he used there incompetent obviously yeah, yeah. it's wrong mm. he shouldn't use that word incompetent women are not incompetent they are com- they can do a lot of things yeah. better than men as well all right <sighs> but again you, you're gonna take that and then you're gonna just tarnish him okay fair enough in it if that's what you want to do that's kind of in moronic he can't handle that women could whoop his ass. He can't handle that there are strong women out there. This man is compensating for something. This man is afraid of something. This man has to be powerful. And this is how he does it. <laughs> Bang out the machete, boom in her face, and grip her up by the neck. Shut up, bitch! The machete's on the floor, her panties are all wet. You go, fuck her. That's how it goes. Slap, <laughs> slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. Oh, my so days. that's obviously wrong so yeah. a young kid who's listening to Andrew Tate might take that literally yeah so that's wrong please don't take Andrew Tate's words literally when he says shit like that so <laughs> then they might start treating women like yeah, shit yeah. Mm-hmm. and start doing that so that is the aspect of that yeah which I understand yeah like but I said again, we're the, we're the we other generation and, look yeah. Andrew Tate is not responsible for your kids. Mm-hmm. We are not responsible for your kids. Mm-hmm. The rappers, the mu- uh, musicians, the guys who make the movies are not responsible for your kids. Mm. Now, whatever your kids watch on there or do do whatever, is your house in order? That's the question. That's it, yeah. The house is not in order because um, the, the Jalic system, the Antichrist system, has destroyed it. Mm. So now the Antichrist has control of your kids and then they start doing all this, and then they take this on board and doing it. It's such a it's such a big issue, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a small little thing. It's a massive, massive issue. The mother and father are work nine till five. They shoved a uh, was it a phone in the uh, the child's hand, and all they're watching is this nonsense. Yeah, yeah. So that's why the household will not be in order if you're letting your children in get indulged in these devices. So, think is the parents' job to make sure the children are on the right track. Mm. If a woman is at home taking care of the family and the children, yeah, then she will bring a good upbringing, making sure that child is on the right track to become a successful man or a woman. Yeah, because that that mother is going to teach the yes. child of how to respect a woman. Mm. How to do that if she's a good mother yeah but these instagram who <laughs> women who become mothers mm-hmm. are they going to teach their children now they're never there for their children i know they're never there they're that's never true there, yeah. and if they are there 
Hmm. I've seen uh, mothers encouraging their daughters to do all sorts of crazy oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. We need to get with the society. You need to become what you can become whatever you want to yeah, become. You my can love. become a man if you want, yeah. yeah. Oh, you like cats. Do you want to become a cat? Become a cat, my, uh, my, do- my daughter, my son. Whatever makes you happy. Hmm. I'm with you. I support you. Freaking hell. Well, women want that type. Jesus Christ. Every real G knows these basic moves. These are basic moves of pimping. Fucking some little amateur. What if a girl picks it up? You're a fucking loser. Whenever I do like meet and greets and stuff, or I recently went to a school prom and a lot of the kids came up to me and school prom. tell where their mindset Everybody's was. Kidding it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, Daz, what are you doing in that school prom? It's <laughs> <laughs> getting worried there. <laughs> in this day and age, it's, it's very concerning. Oh, well, all the likes you get, all the views you get. Ah, oh, are you a millionaire, Daz? Ah, oh, what card do you have, Daz? Andrew Tate has all these Bugattis and, you know, branded clothing and lives a very luxurious lifestyle. And he's out here saying that's what you have to do to be a G. That's what you have to do to be a man. You have to choke them and slap them and put them in their place, even when they're coming at you with a machete. And then they're going to like it and just fall in love with you. And boys... Young boys are eating this up. Can't escape it. You slap an iPad in your kids' hands mm. and you think they'll be fine, and they're not. Some kids are idolizing this image of Andrew. Just like me when I was younger, before they had the warning signs on the beginning of uh, wrestling. They're idolizing the image of uh, Drake, you know, mm. Rick Ross, uh, Chris oh, Brown. These other women, the women. skanky women out there. Who, who is it? Uh, Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Nicki Minaj. Who else is there? Who else? Which other bimbos out know. there? That's I don't uh, know. There's so many. That. Yeah. Who's got plastic surgery? Uh, pumped uh, their batty and their bloody breast with the uh, uh, insulin and uh, this whatever you call plastic. it, man. Plastic, oh, plastic full stuff. of plastic, and thinking, yeah, we are the beautifulest women alive. No, you're not. You're full of plastic, fake ass dummies. And the, the kids want to be like them because they're seeing that. That's what they're seeing on the uh, uh, on YouTube and the, the devices that you're putting in their hands, aren't you? But then, then again, so you're making that point yeah. about family and uh, you know, kids got these iPads. So now talk about that. Talk mm. about that issue. Yeah, that's an issue first. That's a big issue. If man. that issue is not there, yeah. then Andrew Tate's not a problem. Mm, exactly. And what are you doing to your tr- uh, child? You, I'm. I'm uh, I'm assuming that you're putting a, an iPad in your daughter's hand or your son. I don't know if he's got a daughter or son. Yeah. Yeah, daughter or son's uh, hand or while you're recording this. Or is it your uh, uh, girlfriend that's uh, taking care of your child? But then again, he does he does gaming, yeah. right? I get, I'm not seeing his videos. I don't know if he curses in his videos. Don't know what some, does, some do. Some of these uh, keyboard warriors, they curse. Yeah, yeah, of course, they? yeah. So again, kids, that's... Tailored to kids mm. Gaming is tailored to kids Andrew Tate is not tailored to kids mm. Right So if a kid watches it That's a different story yeah. But Now he's, he's playing kids uh, He's playing kids He's playing games um, Again um, Depending on how he's reacting To them games What he's saying uh, He's 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 basically Attracting children yeah. To come on the iPad yeah, there's a lot of swearing, a right. lot of effing and jeffing in there, and everyone. So the kids are learning the language, the bad language from you guys, if there is any. I'm not saying that you swear and all that, but there is a few swear words. In, in gaming, how you do in it. gaming, there's so much violence. Oh, there, of course, yeah. So I'm sure some of your videos, we'll have a look actually after this. Some of your videos are going to have uh, some violent games in there. Mm. And in the games, you got to become the strongest and the, the most powerful with all getting all the gems and all the coins. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he does that <laughs> and he encourages that, how to do that, how to unlock this. Yes. No, I'm, You're doing I'm exactly the same video, so. kind of thing. Yeah, so we'll have a look after this video. We won't react to it, but we'll just have a look. Don't try this at home. Fucking try it at home. <laughs> you know, it's no different now. And his words and his influence are reaching far, far and wide. More than people like Taylor Swift. Mainstream celebrities. Taylor Swift, Swift on Google has been searched many, I think many she's times. back on the scene. Is she? Parents I think so. Parents are aware of exactly what they're saying and how kids look at his lifestyle and think, so to be like Andrew and drive that Bugatti, because that's what's important. And yeah. like that. well, I, don't know, I don't know why he's using Taylor Swift. Why can't you use like uh, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos? Know, <laughs> no, these are the big dogs, you know, Bill Gates. 
the richest man, Warren Buffett, the richest man in the world who've uh, successfully made uh, empires. Do you know what I mean? These are the guys we need to be looking up to, innit? Like how these guys became so successful and became the richest men. Them people combined, the, the five names that I mentioned, can, you know, was it eradicate world hunger? Mm. So yeah. why, why, why Taylor Swift? Is that all you know? Is that where your uh, uh, capacity of your um, uh, celebrities go? That these are the most famous people. These are the people uh, that you need to look up to. Taylor Swift. Don't make me happy. You gotta slap a few hoes. That's as simple as it gets, folks. That is the world we're living in. Influence. That's why we're called influencers. I hate that word because it makes it look like puppet masters. But I can't ignore the fact that young people watching us are influenced by our actions. I grew up in the Vine era. I came, I rose through the Vine era. I saw worrying challenges as they escalated. People setting themselves on fire and trying to put themselves out. He's British, isn't he? A million views. No, his accent. Probably is, yeah. People are influenced by powerful people online. And because he doesn't care, because he genuinely believes in what he's saying is right, young boys are going to attempt to behave like him. But that's the way you made your money. He said he grew up to that. Yeah, he, come back you to grew that. up in the Vine area. You did the Vines as well. You reacted to the Vines, innit? Why mm. didn't you say anything bad then? Now you're saying it. Yeah, yeah. But, but again, he's a gamer. He's going to yeah. be playing them games. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be killing people. You're going to be setting people out of light. You're going to be killing innocent people in GTA. So look, look at that poster behind him, The Last of Us. Yeah. That's a violent game. Very violent game mm -hmm. where you're killing zombies and all sorts. Um, so you know you, you're trying to paint yourself as a an angel, mm. but you're not. Yeah. So don't point fingers, mate. You probably corrupted more children's minds than Tate has today. Because mm. you don't know nowadays in them games what kind of subliminal messages are there. There's so and you're much promoting that. Yeah, yeah. So much in there, man. So much. At least there. Andrew Tate has some messages. He's got mm. something that he has to say. Mm. All you're focusing on right now is about the women, 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 yeah. women. Is that what you want? Your girlfriend, must, you better be scared. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of women after you now, Daz. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Cool. And they're going to treat her like shit. And then ask her to imprint on her. And you still think this guy is a G. You still think that it's okay to support this behavior or on the subject of how weak females are Fem jesus christ women can't fight you're not designed to fight you're incapable of fighting and you're incapable of handling genuine violence generalizing now he's generalizing not talking about the ufc fighters fight bullshit. it annoys me because they always underestimate and they don't train for the reality of violence if a man grabs you you knee him in the balls and run away you need me in my balls, all I'm going to do is get pissed off. You get need in the balls, okay? I've heard so many dicks say this, okay? <laughs> if you need a man in the balls, in the right place, we go down. It, it, it just is no man, unless you're one of these monks that have been training for years. <laughs> can't even I've seen them monks, they're crazy. You get Good point. <laughs> Until you lose all feeling, you will be dropped. You're full of shit, Tate. I, men are bigger than women. Like, think about it, when two professional fighters fight, if there's a five kilo weight difference, that's a big deal difference in... Yeah, in fighting, there are weight classes. And, you know, women do not fight men. Women do not compete against men in the Olympics. Uh, my, most people understand that um, in terms of physicality, often or not, men are usually bigger, taller, you know. Uh, that does not make them better because we have a physical advantage. It doesn't mean he'd win in a race against a, a female uh, runner. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, she could be faster. It no. doesn't really mean that he could beat every single woman on the planet in combat. Right. Have you guys seen that? I don't know if it happened in the Commonwealth. I think it did happen in the Commonwealth where um, a trans man, no, a trans woman uh, competed in the, I think, in the four, 400 meters relay. Or, yeah. Yeah. And that trans woman outpaced them women right by a mile by a mile <laughs> if i find the video i'll put it up by a mile and you're saying uh, uh, a woman won't be able to beat a man but race. again he's going into uh sport 
but Andrew Tate is talking about something else. Yeah, yeah. No, talking no. about just, if there's a man and a woman just on the street now, and the woman starts on it, and the man reacts and wants to fight her, he's gonna beat her up. Most yeah, no, but I'm just uh, you know clarifying his point yeah, as well, yeah. isn't it? because he was saying uh, uh, in the athlete, uh, uh, if you're athletic as well. Uh, a woman may be able to beat a, a man no, mm. no chance a, one, a man will always outpace a woman in the in the game in the game like there are women out there who are probably taller and bigger than him believe it or not but stating the fact yeah what is that it? oh men are stronger men are there what are you trying to prove what does that mean at the end of the day we have different fight classes and weight classes in in fighting for a reason it's to keep things fair we all know this it doesn't mean men are better than women because we are born with a physical advantage okay if you had the same weight class as a man versus a woman yeah mm. same weight same height yeah mm. same reach who do you think would win man a man in it always yeah but he's he's trying to make women a point that um Andrew Tate saying it, a man is better than a woman. Generally, yeah. Yeah. So like you said in that race, that that trans woman mm -hmm. was better because she had have the genetics of a genetics of a man. Yeah. Right? So she's better, so she won. Yeah. Physical advantages such as going through childbirth and their bodies. And the stuff their bodies have to go through growing up is insane. Men will never understand what women have to go through growing up, both mentally and physically. Such a stupid... So how can you become a woman then? How can a man become a woman if he can never understand what a woman is? Good argument. Frank, I will pick you up with one hand <laughs> by your titty. No way, dude. Just the way you talk. That's all it is. I grab you by your neck and you start annoying me trying to resist and I just... Oh. And then That's I grab wrong. you by your neck again. Then what the fuck are you gonna do when your face is collapsed and your fucking cheekbones broken? You ain't gonna do shit but cry. You're gonna fucking cry your eyes out. Females can't fight. If you're we so disagree on this point. Then, Andrew, what should women do when they live in a world of men like you? What is their only option? For a woman, and you're going to any kind of self-defense class, stop. Because all that's doing is giving you false confidence bullshit. And next time you're in a situation when you need to run, you're going to start thinking, oh, I know what to do. Uh, you're not fucking Steven Seagal. You're a hoe. Scream and run. That's wrong. <laughs> okay. That will always be able to whoop your ass. And any man who's relatively capable as a man will always be able to whoop your ass, rape you, strangle you, kill you, anything he wants to do. Yeah, yeah that's See, These are the points that we don't agree on. Yeah. Even if he's saying that as a, a comedy, yeah. even if he's joking, yeah, even if he's joking or seeing it uh, being a, a, a comedian here, right, you should not be saying this, mm. right, because you're influencing uh, the youngsters who are watching you to become like that. Yeah, and they will go out, and from what you've said, they'll think that is right. Yeah, so if they're in a relationship first time ever, they'll probably end up, you know, spanking you or beating you or doing that and thinking that, oh, because Andrew Tate mentioned this, it's okay, and a woman would like it. No, no, no. Yeah, these are the parts you just throw away, ignore. Or if you if you're intelligent enough, you've got some common sense, take it as comedy. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, it, it comes down, and it it comes down to the, what is the root cause? It's the internet, it's the yeah. iPads. We can't c control our kids to watch it. They, mm -hmm. It's open to everything. Yeah. There's worse things out there than what Andrew Tate says. Oh yeah, of course. So um, that's what it comes down to. So if you can't control your kids uh, and they watch this, it's obviously they got to take that. Mm. But pe older people like us, we know that's bullshit, and we disagree with that anyway. Yeah. It's all crap. Um, we know that we can see the comedy kind of element to it. Yeah. Um. So that's what I mean. That that's what it comes down to mainly. I think me. this was his early stages where he just wanted to get fame. You know, wanted to get out there. It's probably part of his plan that he uh, set up to get out there, get the clips out there, and people. Like you say, the more hate you get, the bigger you get, mm. isn't it? So. He know he knew that he was gonna get a lot of hate, but he'll get a lot of attention. Bring uh, you know towards him as well. So I think uh, I don't know. Outlawed. Well, there you go, ladies. Um, it's hopeless. Uh, you are going to be attacked. You are going to be raped. 
Uh, you are going to fall victim to, the, to these guys that feel like they can overpower you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Words of the G. It's just, you know, it's just so upsetting that this right now is the pinnacle of the internet. Women want to go out there and learn to fight. They can fight. Simple. And like I say, someone who's is a fighter, you, you don't half sound like you've never fought in your life. Often treats them like they're just silly little teenage girls. Uh, and he speaks to women like they're, you know, uh, young teenagers. I mean, you all know how he talks to teenagers. It's fine. You know, like, if you ever, once you're 18, if you want to get yourself a real man, I know a guy. You do? I do, yeah. I do know a guy. Who is it? What? It, uh, it's a it's a long story. I can't tell you exactly who because there's bad, there's bad things. About <laughs> Yo, there's no fucking way you just said that. No, no, no. I it's actually heard that. The bad thing you fucking said that shit is fucking crazy. That's an underage girl saying that. As soon as you're legal, honey, come to me. I'm a real man. Seventeen, turning eighteen in uh, two weeks, I, I, I believe. In the first place where such things as only should women clean up women should clean up unprompted i will not administer cpr unless you're a hot female if i have responsibility over her then i must have a degree of authority for the same reason if i have responsibility over and everyone's going to lose their mind it's an example it's only an analogy if i have responsibility over a child i have to have some authority you cannot be responsible for something that doesn't listen to you you can't be responsible for a dog if it doesn't obey you. So Just a few little other nuggets to throw in there. He's also said and stated online that he likes to date 18 or 19 year old girls so he can imprint on them. What originally caused that, Tate to lose his Twitter account back in the day was, uh, and this on its own, so he has this it on its own, yeah, think, uh... just swipe everything else <clears throat> away. Everything he's ever said. I don't think he's on Twitter. Everything that he's ever said that is just... Awful. Uh, I've never this seen alone, him. Though. I don't think one of his tweets yeah, back in the day right. that got his Twitter account removed was that he said um, females that fall victim to rape should bear some of the responsibility for those actions being taken against them. What I assume he's trying to say is, is that they've addressed in a very revealing way, they behaved a certain way. They let a guy on and change their mind. All this toxic shit that I hear guys say. Oh, she's a cock teaser. Gentlemen, young boys growing up, only listen to me and listen good. Now listen to if him now, yeah. yeah. He's giving advice. To you, <clears throat> changes her mind. That's fine. The saviour. Let her leave. Get over it and find someone else who does want to see. Okay, does what are those women who fake rape claims? Mm. Which there are many of. Seriously, he does he have not? Or done they say uh, they agreed, they consented. And next morning, they regret it, and then they go and do a rape claim. Yeah. What about all that? Mm -hmm. Is not is that not including your statistics? Yeah. As well, everything that you just said there, the points that you put uh, put forward, is what happens. Is what women do in this day and age. Yeah. They may not feel like it once they've led the man on, and then. What was what was a man supposed to do? He'll just piss him off, yeah, and he'll he'll get pissed off because it's what he's seen in the movies. It's probably what he's seen in the move uh, in the music industry, and that's that's probably lead you know go down that road. And uh, again, like what Jimmy mentioned, a woman will probably go through it next day, uh, change her mind, and then put a rape claim on. That again, person. look, guys, rape happens, yeah, and men, you need to understand as well, boys as well. When a woman says no, it's no. It's no, yeah. But there's also cases what I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned about uh, women revealing themselves and yeah. all that stuff. Okay. So women, you you go out, you dress in a certain way, provocative way. Mm -hmm. Why do you dress that way? Mm -hmm. There are men out there who look at that, they can't maybe control it, whatever, and they come and attack you and rape you. All right. Now you gotta argue and start going crazy. Oh no! So that means women should you tell women how to dress and all that mm -hmm. stuff. Listen, I'm not here to tell anyone anything, mm -hmm. but that's just the way the mi mind works of a man. Yeah. Why are you dressing that way? And don't tell me you're dressing that way for yourself. Don't tell me you're wearing makeup for yourself because when you go to sleep, you don't dress probably like that or you don't even wear, wear makeup. <laughs> when you're on your own and you, you know you're not gonna go out. And you're just having a movie night on your own. Yeah. You wear makeup. No, you don't. No. 
You only wear it to go out to please others, and that's the same for clothing. You want the attention, and you crave it. That's why you do it. Even if you got a man, you still want other people looking at you. And that's not excuse for rape. Yeah. Absolutely no. Yeah. Absolutely no. But you know, you, you it's like. I don't know, I'm trying to be careful here how mm. to say it. Like it's like dangling a carrot in front of a um a rabbit. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> the rabbit's gonna learn, he's, uh, find it attractive. Yeah, you yeah. know, he wants that carrot, that's the thing he wants, but he's just gonna teasing, try and get it. It. It's teasing. All teasing in it. Like yeah. he mentioned there. But again, it doesn't mean you go and do that. Yeah. But like you said, the society's all fucked anyway. Yeah, yeah. And with all that brainwashing, all that crap. And people uh, nowadays have no morals anyway. That's it. So they won't have that protection. And Islam, it tells us to lower our gazes, mm -hmm. um, to dress appropriately. These yeah. are the prevention uh, preventions in place yeah. so that these things don't happen. Zina or adultery doesn't happen. Yeah. So okay. it does happen, mm -hmm. right? If you go to the Middle East, it does happen. It happens yeah. everywhere, but not as much as the West, not I would much. say. Very rare. Yeah. Yeah. Sleep with you. If a woman is dressed provocatively if she's chosen to show cleavage if she shows up to a nightclub fucking naked keep your hands to yourself no woman chooses an outfit and goes out and thinks i want to be sexually assaulted i want to be groped i hope yeah you might dress and think guys do it oh, i might look nice tonight i might you know the ladies might look at me that's fine you want a bit of attention, that's fine. But the reason I... Yeah, but what, why? Okay, you dress nice, innit? Ladies want to look at you. Yeah. And then what's the next step? What What do you want out of that outcome? What every man wants the outcome to be. So, uh, I'm not a woman. I can't define a woman. So, I can't say what a woman would think. Yeah, I find uh, women and men do not dress to get, you know, no one wants to get sexually assaulted. Yeah, I know, a man, you... yeah, uh, a man needs to stay away, keep his distance. Uh, and when a woman says no, it's a no. But men are men. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Ah, we but are it's we always are selective as well, though. Yeah, if yeah. an attractive man came to a woman mm -hmm. and just started touching and stuff, yeah. she she wouldn't even mind. We've, we've seen, you know, there's videos out there that yeah. women say that, and if he's an ugly looking man, touching, oh, it's rape, it's mm. sexual assault. Um, and the same with women, when women come and they think they have a right to touch a man and start I touching know, him. Yeah. And, and then. <laughs> And they think it's, it's all right. It's normal. The man wants it. Man likes it. Yeah. It's, not it's amazing. A that any, every time a, a woman will touch a man, a man will not do anything. Mm. A man will not say, "Oh, get off me," mm. and then they'll find it attractive. And a man will just think, "Oh, she's attracted to me. That's why she's touching me." Mm. Um, but uh, when a man will just ask her, go, <laughs> "I laugh and touch a woman," she'll be offended, even if she's uh, uh, if he if that man is her friend mm. or a work colleague. And you go, "Why you assault me? Why do you touch me?" Again, uh, what what is uh, the purpose of a club? Yeah, right. What is the purpose of that? You got all yeah. the the alcohol and all that free mixing, all that stuff. Yeah. It's there for a purpose. Yeah, guys, girls, they go out. There's one thing in common they want to do, and that's that's the outcome they want yeah. of that. Mm. That's the way I see it, anyway. Yeah. I don't go to nightclubs. It's because of dicks like him. I see it time and time again. There's nothing wrong with approaching a lady at a club, offering to buy a drink, getting to know her because she's pretty. We all know that this happens. But for God's sake, no means no. Or just read the body language. If they're not into it, there's this whole culture of like, ah, but if I push hard enough, she might change her mind. If she's going to change her mind, then give her your number and she'll call you. Fucking leave them alone. And I cannot stress to the young lads in this audience, okay? <laughs> this is to get this point, and, and uh, a lot of people say when women are drunk, they give their number, and the next day when you call them, when they left the club, <laughs> they're like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> mm. When did I give you my number? So when a woman gives you the number in the club, man, don't think it's uh, you've um, bugged her. Yeah. Uh, again, it's, you, you got alcohol. <laughs> it's the alcohol talking. in your body, right? Yeah. You got drugs as well, probably in mm. your body. Mm. So, again, who's when she says yes at that point? Is she going to now say I was drunk, so he's raped me now? Yeah, and they're mm. going to take his uh, her word for it. Yeah, of course. 
being a man is not how successfully you hit on a girl. Being a man, it, what does that even mean? Just be yourself and be respectful. <laughs> the whole phrase, be a man, is something that should never be said to a young boy. Because that whole saying, be a man, if we put be a man in a tree and had it linked to all the meanings that that means, be strong, be tall. Often when we're upset, we get patted. Be a man, meaning don't cry. Don't be vulnerable, don't show any signs of emotion. Look, if you want to be a, a borderline rapist that talks to uh, underage girls like that, and his philosophy on life is women aren't shit, and end up on your massive yacht, rich and alone, fine. Go do it. The one thing uh, with all the corresponding behavior that I've seen that stands out there is obey blindly. You would be able to have a relationship with someone like that? Good question. The best female I could possibly meet is a female who comes to me and says, I look at your life and look at what you've done and I respect your achievements to the point where I obey you blindly. Yeah. I don't want her to have her own opinion. I don't want her to be an alpha. I want her to understand that the Tate train is on the Tate track. She can get on and off the train, but the track is laid. The stations are already set and you can do nothing but enjoy the ride or fuck off. The one thing uh, with all the corresponding behavior that I've seen that stands out there is obey blindly. Tate needs to date a corpse. His whole <laughs> philosophy <laughs> towards women is dangerous. And I really can't prove it, but I really feel that this is the surface. With that's what Tate wants from a woman. Mm. So let him have it. Have it. That's that's yeah. his requirement. Like you women have yeah. all your requirements. Yeah, that's Tate's yeah. requirement. That's his requirement. Yeah, and th there's many women that will accept that. Yeah, and do so. What's the issue with that? I have no, I have no issues with that. If that's what he wants from a woman, that's uh, what he, he wants. It's not something that I want from a woman. I want completely something else. So they're my requirements. You probably want something else from your woman. That's your requirements, mm. isn't it? I'm not going to argue you can't have that. This is um, this is wrong and you can't have that. You need to have um, have this and that. So I don't, I don't know what point he's trying to make here. Mm. See, this is the very surface and we're seeing cracks and his mouth is big and he tries to cover it up with donating to charities. Recently, today on his Instagram, he posted he was going to donate to a woman's charity uh, of, of abuse victims. I don't buy it, Tate. I don't buy it. I believe you moved to Romania because of the reasons you said you moved there. And I quote, I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea that I can get away with anything. And then he goes on to say this. As why do you choose to live there? In Romania? Yeah, I know you I know you have like businesses and things going on there, but but why there? There's something that I very <clears throat> that very much angers me about the Western world. I like living in countries where corruption is accessible for everybody. You moved from England because there were allegations and you were being arrested on suspicion of rape. I know that to be a fact, Andrew. This man and his behavior. Well he still comes okay, to England. And pay so as soon as he comes, they should arrest him. We're come yeah, back exactly, to this yeah. video mm. sometime and Not sure about that. fast forward to this point. When he is caught out in Romania, everyone will see. I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea of being able to get away with whatever the hell I want. Can't see it. This man, he can't help but let shit out. And that aside, all that shit that um, you can say meh about, the stuff that he has literally said, the stuff that he is coaching young men to say, the way we have physically, with our own eyes, seen him treat women. We are not stupid. I believe, it is my personal opinion, that he has moved to Romania so he can get away with a lot of the dark shit that we haven't seen yet. And we will. Take your, your, your own worst enemy. Your, your mouth is too big. You've... Yeah, you're right, man. If he's doing all this dark shit, then uh, there'll be a court case going on and there'll be a, um, a court arrest warrant. Yeah, arrest warrant if for... they want, they'll get him from Romania, mate. Yeah. If they really want. Exactly. And when he comes to America or when he travels to UK, which he does every single probably week, mm. um, they'll get him at the airport, take him to court and then, um, you know, put him in trial. Until he's not in uh, cuffs, he's not going through a court procedure. Yeah. Uh, 
Not because he's innocent. Innocent until Stop proven making guilty. someone guilty before yeah. they exactly, come through mate. a trial you're not, or You're not a judge, anything. mate. You're yeah. not a judge. Even though he said that in the beginning, yeah. but it sounds like you are being a judge. Yeah. Said too much. And your donations to charity and your panicky behaviour, because you've blown up on the internet and everything you've said has come to light and you're now being investigated. Get ready, because it's not going to end there. You need to be stopped. Your dangerous philosophies need to be stopped. I give a shit how powerful you are. I give a shit how much money you have. I don't care. Oh, it's the big talk coming out now, is it? You stand half naked on the end of your boat where no one gives a shit and twirl them around all day. <clears throat> Keep twirling. You say you crush and defeat all your enemies. How are you going to crush yourself? By running your mouth. Let's put everything outside that we think about him and let's just put on the table for now what we've seen and what we know that's enough that's enough like i say shrink it down to that one tweet about how rape victims need to bear some responsibility for them being raped i don't care how young you are i don't care what gender you are if you're a human any support going to someone who is capable of thinking like that with the what women are saying, and I can't go into too much detail, what women are saying to me, coming forward with evidence, are saying to me, there's a man out there tweeting that these victims need to bear some responsibility. To me, that just screams of a man who's trying to justify what he's doing. This man is a pig, and I've reviewed many pigs in my time, but this is the worst, and I have never... I have never had to Damn. have phone calls with women and I can hear it in their voice. This man has been a pig to them. Even the ones I, I believe, the ones that have come forward and said, oh, we're just laughing, that was our relationship. I believe they've just had to say that because they're scared. This is often why a lot of cases don't get resolved or thrown out because of lack of evidence or their word against theirs. And I understand it. Our justice system for sexual assault needs more work and all these allegations being brought against him and women still coming out of the woodwork because now imagine imagine if he is the guy that these women are saying he is i can't prove it but imagine he is and then you're can't trying to live it. your life but this, this is wrong though isn't it there's yeah. so many people who have been tarnished um careers ended reputation destroyed lost their family lost their homes lost everything because of an allegation uh. and because they're famous and because they're famous obviously media take that on, on a roller coaster and then it comes out that they're innocent yeah you are now responsible for destroying a man's life his livelihood feeding his kids yeah so you need to be careful does whoever come with the evidence first once a trial or whatever shit's happened come bring it forward and then talk yeah don't throw this now you have young followers and young men and young women who are watching you and now they're going to throw all them allegations on the internet as well yeah and try and destroy you mm. so we're going round in circles here you're saying one thing yeah. but you're also doing another thing yeah exactly all of a sudden you cannot get rid of the image of this man he's everywhere now and we're putting him there and even to some degree i know this video is um giving him more attention but i'm not doing it the way other youtubers have reacted to him what was the biggest case that we had that was aired live johnny depp and amber heard hmm. oh yeah yeah yes look brilliant. at that man just bring brilliant. that forward amber heard bring that, bring went to court forward. put allegation forward about johnny depp assaulting hmm. her fantastic she won it then uh johnny depp then you mm. know wanted a retrial mm. and what happened he proved it proved that mm. amber heard was a liar liar yeah. a liar sadistic liar mm -hmm. literally she's uh, i don't know what to say about her destroyed johnny depp's career mm. literally obliterated it right lost contract lost a hundred million dollar contract with disney can, cannot be uh, What's his name man In the Caribbean so the Pirates of the Caribbean What's it called as Captain uh, no. Man I can't believe I forgot uh, his name In the Pirates of the Caribbean 
Yeah, destroyed, and we'll never see him being that character ever again. Mm. He is an emotional wreck. But after his retrial, the support that he's received from us as well, the Baden mm. Moguls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's now, brilliant. How can you justify yeah. that, mate, Mr. Daz? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You're putting allegations on Andrew Tate without any evidence whatsoever. Just a few clips here and there of what he said. Mm. He's not been uh, trialed. He's not been uh, to court. He's not been arrested. He's not been nothing. And what, what, what are you accusing him of? Mm. Yeah. Or right, if there was a, a court case that's happened, if he's been arrested, he has been arrested in the past, but do you have any evidence of it? No, you don't have any evidence, uh, Daz. Yeah, mm. that you can pick up and say, look, this is what he's been down for, and this and that, that, that. And the women you're talking to, they could be the Amber Heard's. Yeah, they could be the Amber Heard that's coming forward. Yeah, to yeah. get that money. Mm-hmm. Like Amber Heard wants that money. That yeah. money didn't go to charity. Mm. <laughs> it, 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 that you know what? Thanks for mentioning that. Mm. That's probably what was in my subconscious about. You know, there's cases out there, yeah. and that's a brilliant highlight. It's a case. Someone yeah. like him, he took him. She, he took her to court. And totally yeah. made himself innocent, but she destroyed his life. Just completely. So destroyed. be careful when yeah. you give allegations, and this is what you're doing. Does yeah, you got seven point seven million fo- uh, followers on YouTube. I don't know how many uh, millions you got on Twitch or Discord or wherever the other platforms are, but a lot of people are listening to you and watching you and taking your word for it. Mm. And you're putting allegations on this man without any evidence, any proof whatsoever, and mm. you're clearly saying it. I don't have any proof. And the evidence that he apparently yeah. has, he can't show. Yeah. So. Man. <sighs> Laughing at him, passing it off. I cannot understand that we still live in a society where we cannot see why this man is disturbed. Why the things he is saying, real or not, is besides the point. Whether he can kick my ass or not is besides the point. Whether he's richer than me is besides the fucking point. This is not how you behave. It's not how you treat people. And I don't know how many more women are going to contact me. I don't know how many more accusations are going to be made. But all I know is, and if Tate's got nothing to hide, more investigation needs to be done into this man. Those women who are contacting Daz, please contact us. We want to hear those stories. Yeah. Yeah, we want to hear those stories. I I don't personally want to. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I, I just can't want, be bothered. With I them. just want to see if they don't legit trust or it. Not. I don't trust it. Is is their word? Yeah. How can you trust it? Someone needs to be looking into this guy out in Romania at why he has chosen to live there and why he's openly on camera. Man can't so live anywhere now. He to can't live in play Romania. The corruption game and get away with it with his wealth. I don't think it's so what about what about all them uh, other leaders all these uh, rich guys they do the same thing why do they have Swiss accounts why do they travel around why do they why does Amazon have their headquarters in uh, Luxembourg yeah. why 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 yeah it's rich people mate it's mm-hmm. a rich lifestyle that's what they do yeah he prefers uh, Romania it's more relaxed like we go back home like Pakistan somewhere yeah it's more relaxed yeah there's an interview where he talks about the parking fines he's right this country is very strict on mm. everything man it's a stressful life in this country yeah I can't but park anywhere get a parking ticket and then they chase you t- until you the end of the world to yeah. get their money and that parking fine that's Romania of, like yeah. you said Romania park where you want do what you want yeah mm. there's corruption element as a rich person that's gonna uh, tilt to his benefit mm. right but he's rich you can do it yeah. So what, man? Speeding tickets. Pressing scummy shit that he says about women. It's crazy how he's mentioning what I'm saying. They should <laughs> fight back. They should obey blindly. I'm stronger than you. I'm more powerful than you. I'm richer than you. You are a vessel for a child and a seed and that is everything that you should be and to be anything but you're selfish put all of those things in a sentence string them together and you may as well cram it you're nothing and tell me you don't think that these women coming forward might hold some truth i have other clips i have clips of him on a train being insulting to a lady i have I don't know you, Tate, and I, I don't want to know you. Um, all I can do is review footage and react to what you've put out there. And as for everything else, 
I hope that it all comes to light and we find out the truth about you. Those saying, what is Daz gonna do? For all the Andrew Tate fans coming at me saying, what's this fat little YouTube gonna do? This isn't just saying some um, insensitive shit online. This isn't leaving your keys in the car. Oh, little mistake. This is just years of destructive and abusive behavior and we're filming it and laughing at it. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna listen to those people and I am going to give them a platform to come forward because that's what being human's about. I don't have to know you to listen to you. I don't have to know Tate to know that this is wrong. This is all wrong. It's so not funny. It's not a meme. Give them a platform then. Bring them forward. Mention their names. Mm. But, uh, you just saying it, yeah? I'm not going to provide it or I'm not going to say this name because I want to protect their identity or whatever for security purposes. But again, yeah. Tate's not on your platform yeah. to defend himself, yeah. right? So why don't you get Tate on your platform that you said you like yeah. to listen and you're using your platform? Get him on. Yeah, get the women on as well who are contacting yeah. you. Get them all on or get at least Tate on and you two go at it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'll tell you and uh, we'll watch it yeah. and see what happens after that. Yeah. It's not worthy of a diss track. It's real. This is a man saying and doing these things. And people are giving him a microphone and airtime to do it whilst paying into his business to learn how to be a G. I don't want to watch anymore. I'll leave it at this. So I don't Young either. boys and teenage <laughs> men watching this. Be a man should never have existed. It should never have been taught to us. Just be right. I disagree with that. Yeah. I was going to say that before about being a man. You've got to be a man. Yeah, you are a man. You gotta be a man. What kind of society do you want then? Mm. Do you want beta bitches? Is that what you want? I if that's, that's what you want, yeah. then you can have that. Mm. But in my opinion, we need to have men, real men, out there. Yep. And we're bearded moguls. That's what we're about. We're, we're fighting for that because you're turning our men into wimps. Yeah. Into women, or what? 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 What are they turning us into? They want, yeah, like you said, they want us to become beta bitches. Yeah, obey uh, everything that uh, the elite says that we go down there. So they want us to become puppets, not make uh, decisions. Because, yeah. yeah, like you said, a real a real man will stand up to a system, a corrupt system. Yes. It was real men hundreds and thousands of years ago that stood up against these corrupt uh, regimes and leaders and took took them out. It's of real course. men who are going to start yeah, beat yeah. bitches and not going to do that. Uh, um, it's easy to control Just gonna give him a laptop Here you go Carry on We'll throw millions at you Don't worry about anything And they're going succeeding on. Look Daz Sorry to say man With all due to due respect You're becoming one of them mate You're falling he is into one of the them. trap He is one of them Yeah Be a good human Yeah Like don't believe We're good humans you're gonna be happy yeah. You can't be a man and you, if you become a man, you're not a good human. What are you trying to say, Daz? That's another thing. Be a good human. Now, if I if an atheist says be a good human, what does that mean? Mm. Where do you get your morality from, my friend? Daz, if you are an atheist and don't believe in anything, what is a being a good human? Because your act of goodness might be an act of badness from another person's exactly. perspective. Exactly. Perfect. So you do not have a moral uh, framework to work on. Yeah, right. No moral ground what to stand is a on. good human being? That's another debate in itself. As young men in rap videos, women filled with jacuzzis and throwing themselves at us, and it's not um, about that's it's not realistic. It's not a man. Just be a good person and just respect other people. Ladies watching this, this one. Give me a call. <laughs> Give me a call. <laughs> That's what you want, yes. isn't it? <laughs> Not putting their foot down on other men and their ideologies about how you should run your lives, your bodies, your minds, and that you ain't worth shit. I'm tired of seeing people have to fight just for rights and for love. And if this video has impacted anyone, if this video makes one young boy say, I want to be more like Daz, I, I want to do that as a guy, this video is a success. Mm. And ladies, this one's for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this ladies, video. Ladies, this one's for uh, you. It's been an so eye this... opener. Let's Where stop him there, man. I can't I do all this.
my opinions are my own for on. the people I've spoken to behind the scenes uh, whose identities I will not reveal and that someone can be listened to and if Andrew has nothing to hide this can be uh, properly investigated guys thank you for watching today's video I'm sorry we, we're normally used to having fun here and being positive and having fun and laughing um, but today was just one of those Daz watches like I press my channel and I'll see you yeah, in the next video watching, yeah. I love you all <laughs> stay dazzling Stay dazzling. Stay right. dazzling, eh? There you go, guys. Mm. Daz watches reacting to Andrew Tate. And honestly, he started off well. Yeah, yeah. He started off well. He got yeah. uh, got some good points. Andrew Tate has done things that we completely disagree with and you what things that you should not do with a woman. So but then they started going downhill mm. where you start attacking Andrew Tate for who he is, for how he speaks, for how he acts. So how, how for how he talks, mm. then he just got even worse. No evidence. Uh, picking up videos that are completely out of context. Not watching the video and understanding what Tate actually meant. The whole the whole video is allegation. Yeah, it should be called the and uh, does does his allegations yeah. against Andrew Tate. There's no real basis on it. And yes, he's made videos and there's some videos out there. He's addressed those videos. Uh, you're saying women are coming to you. That's your opinion. Again, you can't verify these women tell the truth. We can't do that unless it goes through court. Uh, but I, I'm not going to totally slash that. There are good points in there. There's things we don't agree. Yeah. There's clips of Tate's out there talking about uh, negatively about Islam. Uh, Islam being, yeah. um, you know, the ISIS, uh, the true Muslims. Mm. Uh, him being friends with Tommy Robinson, all that stuff. Again, these look like old clips. I've only seen it out of context. Uh, I don't know the full situation. And maybe he's changed his view because we've reacted to his recent videos yeah. where he talks about Islam and they are in a positive light compared to before. And people can change their views. If you're always on your limelight, yeah. you know, does that mean you never change your view? Mm. You know, that view 10 years ago, 15, like we've had views 10, 15 years ago and we've changed it now. Yep. So, but you might get a clip, uh, if we did YouTube 10 years ago, a clip of us saying a certain thing and say, look, this guy is a racist or he's yeah. this or he's that, you know what I mean? Yeah, all songs, isn't it? So, um, Mr. Tate, a lot of things that he does post, we've mentioned him several, several times and we have to clarify ourselves several times. Every time we have to do a video on tape, we have to put a clarification in there that we don't agree with every single thing he says. Mm. And uh, the good points that he does make, and it, they are very valuable. Yeah, it's uh, something that you personally need to look into yourself. Young kids, if you're going to take advice from Tate regarding mm. relationships and the way he uh, treats women, I'll say that's a big no-no from myself. Yeah, personally, I think young kids, young men, don't listen to Tate. Mm. I'll say something controversial there. Um, yeah, just avoid Andrew Tate. Because if you can't, if you're in that development stage and you can't filter out mm. the stuff that he's saying, where he's serious or comedic or whatever, uh, which is a danger, yeah. then it's best to stay away from him. Of course. Look, the young generation, I'm not trying to cuss you guys, yeah? But we we posted some videos about Tate. It was all banter, right? Where we made a prediction. We was bouncing off a, uh, a video where he was talking about his death or how he nearly died, yeah? And you guys took that so serious. You, be, you guys have become Tate fanboys where you it hurts you if anyone talks negative about mm. Tate. Yeah, so don't become that. Don't get so indulged with Tate. Yeah, take the good, leave the bad. If make sure you can filter those out. And like Jimmy said, for the young generation, it will be hard for you guys to do that. So we recommend for the young generation not to watch Tate. Mm. Yeah. Anything else? No. Uh, like I said, I, I was expecting a bit more punch in his video mm -hmm. and what does done. Uh, but he made good points as well, so I'm not going to take away stuff from that. But the whole video, like I mentioned, it's just an allegation. Mm. He just made a whole video. He chopped up clips. Yeah. Anyone can do that about anyone. Yeah. And then just um, uh, malign them with, you know, all sorts of allegations. And it's wrong. And we mentioned it before, you know, um, it's happened to, uh, what's his name? Amber Heard versus... 
What's his name again? I'm joined up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, mine's going Melton. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. So in that case, that if that highlights uh, allegations, uh, allegations are very, very serious. Mm. And we should be, and when we are saying it, we say allegedly yeah. this person does it. And that's why they say that in, in the radio stations. Yeah. But again, um, if it comes down, let the courts do their job. We trust in the process of, uh, you know, the governments in this country. Yeah. I don't know about Romania. It might be more corrupt, but again, I don't want to cause Romania. <laughs> and again, uh, if he does get taken to court, we can react to the court case. Yeah. Like, that'd be a big court case. Though. Yeah, that would be a big court case. Isn't it? And then we can make uh, judgments if uh, who's right and who's wrong yeah, yeah. over the evidence provided in the courts. Mm. Yeah. But at the moment, Daz, you've not had uh, enough evidence. You've not brought anything forward that's, uh, you know, that will make him look out to be mm. bad. All right, fair, a few things that he's spoken about women, which we totally disagree with. You shouldn't be treating women like that. Well, that's what he's done in the past. Maybe he has changed or maybe he'll never change. But that is something that, mm. is, um, you know, uh, that Tate does. And that's what Tate does only. Not every man does that. So don't label every person that sports Tate uh, as a woman beater. Mm. Because that's what you're trying to do. I've seen yeah. a lot of uh, guys out there who are quite high profile. Yeah. And they rate him. They mm. rate uh, Tate. Yeah. And they say he's a he's a he's, he's you know he's because yeah. they understand that mm-hmm. and they have that uh, mental capacity to filter through yeah, the yeah, crap and they understand what he's doing yeah. you know it's a game it's a bit of a charade it's a bit of a character you know it's a bit of entertainment he's comedic yeah. all that stuff they understand that and then they're not gonna agree with everything mm. he says no one agrees with someone hundred yeah. percent. It's content at the end. How do you think Tate made it so big in a matter of uh, two, three months? Mm. Yeah, he was nothing, and now he just blown up. He put a plan together, he executed, and look, this is where he is. And he knew he had to do it by putting controversial shit in there. And um, uh, the people are gonna hate are gonna be watching his videos more than the people are mm. uh, even know. The haters make yeah. them grow. The haters. You All guys, you have to do yeah. is stop talking about him. Yeah. Once you stop talking about him, once we stop talking about him, yeah. like YouTubers <laughs> like us, we stop talking about him, that's it. He's lost his power there. Yeah. But he knows that the more he says so, stuff that are controversial, mm-hmm. he's gonna have the leftist yeah. and the, the guys uh, feminists and all that after yeah. him and who are going to talk about him yeah. which is going to make him more powerful and uh, to be honest uh, in my opinion mm. uh, I think you guys have just made him more powerful like we probably already mentioned he'll probably jump on a different platform he'll probably uh, put a subscription service uh, and all his uh, Tate followers look in the past mm. four months he's had over two billion plus views Wow. Two billion plus views in the past uh, two, three months. No one has ever done that. No one. Mr. Beast has probably done that, but nah, uh, I don't, yeah, maybe I don't know. Yeah, but Tate has just uh, took things on a different level. He's conquered TikTok, like he said. Uh, he's probably conquered the internet. He's the most spoken person uh, on the net. And uh, you guys, all right, you probably banned him, but you'll probably jump on a different platform uh, and get uh, even more followers. And uh, people probably throw more money at him, and he'll probably mm. become even more richer. But. Uh, we leave it at that. Yeah, leave yeah. It at that, yeah. Let us know what you thought. Uh, do you agree with us? Do you agree with uh, uh, Daz? Um, but I know our comment section is gonna blow up. <laughs> we uh, we we had a lot of haters uh, on the Hassan Abi, a lot of hate um, uh, Hassan Abi fans uh, coming jumping on. But I uh, hope we have uh, 50 50 on this one. Um, I'm not really bothered. Do, yeah. Write what you want. Yeah, right. Well, Freedom of speech, right? Yeah, we don't care. Right, right what you want. We, we're the ones we don't. No, there's no com- point coming on a yeah. comment and start yeah. insulting. Yeah. Right. Write a, write a reasonable comment. If yes. you disagree with us, write in a, a nice, not nice. You don't need to be nice. Yeah. You don't need to. That's up to yeah. you. If if that's not your character mm-hmm. but write it in a intelligent way yeah right so we can have a dialogue maybe we can respond to that mm-hmm. but if you're just going what colored your bugatti <laughs> or what's this come on man if yeah, you know yeah. you're a bloody 10 year old kid on yeah. your computer we don't care we're not gonna give you our time a day so exactly whatever. but that's everything from us guys i hope you enjoyed it this is the bearded moguls out yeah.